Is this guy a real streamer? What a question. Let me answer that for you. Currently, the biggest game in the world is Pal World. Little indie game. Came out of nowhere. Took over. Most players on Steam took over more than Counter-Strike. More than Baldur's Gate 3. Just a ridiculous number of players. Everyone wants Pal World content right now. Everyone's saying, hey, what's happening in Pal World? Let's watch Pal World streams. And you ask if I'm a real streamer. To answer your question, here's Morrowind. Uh, because I want to play Morrowind. Good idea. Don't know. Is it going to happen? Yes. Ladies and gents, hello. Welcome. Remember, each event is preceded by prophecy. Without the hero, there is no event. In the waning years of the Third Area of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. The chat is indeed still in the middle. Shall I move it? No. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? What is our name? What is a like look, if you've never played Morrowind before, I'm a millennial, alright? This is an RPG from my era. So all of you Zoomers, be prepared to see a real video game. This is like a proper proper game you know you guys you have no idea what you're in for a leveling system that nobody understands at all a plot incomprehensible to most people who even try to pay attention to it a combat system that's just a bit of a joke really but then really deep magic that kind of stuff uh, so what are we going to call ourselves guys welcome i am Okay, so very important notice, first of all. I'm going to try and get streaming consistent. I'm going to try and stream on Saturdays at 7 o'clock and Sundays at 4 o'clock. And in order to make that easier to remember, I've made a little little poem that you can remember. A little ditty, a little earworm, if you will, that will remind you of the times that I'm streaming. So I'm going to stream at Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 4. And this is the little poem that I came up with. Ready? Saturday at 7 but Sunday at four. There you go. Perfect little poem. It, it doesn't need to rhyme. I learned that in, in school. I learned poems don't need to rhyme, but I think that is a banging poem. Perfect. 100% perfect. What are we going to call ourselves? What's our name? A lot of you are saying Giga Chad for some reason. I, I think Giga Chad's, we're, we're reaching too much there. We're expecting too much. Are you winning, Josh? Mate, let's be real. We're, uh, we're playing Morrowind at four o'clock on a Sunday. I think we're winning. All right, I think this is good. Oh, Beast of Beast, good to see you in chat. How are you today? One of my favorite streamers, actually. How do I make friends to play Dungeons & Dragons with? Ah, you've got that the wrong way around. You need to go to Dungeons & Dragons groups, find out who's playing them, then become friends with those people. Big Chungus, people are saying. We might just call him, like, Jim. Like, Bob. Maybe Twitch chat. I think... I think this is the... Because we've done Oblivion. We've done Skyrim. This is Twitch Chat the Third, I believe. Is this Twitch Chat the Third? I think this is Twitch Chat the Third. Rufus 2. No, no. Oh, Dragon Age. So that was Twitch Chat the First, which means this is Twitch Chat the Fourth, because we've done Dragon Age, Oblivion, Skyrim, and this is the Fourth. Twitch Chat the Fourth. That's his name. I'm sure they'll let us go as well, Jewib. Uh, what I'm going to do is just quickly move the um, things to... Hang on. Give me a sec. We need to, to move this chat over to there. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm a fool. But I'm not foolish. You guys need to see the beauty that is... 
most of Morrowind. This is where you get off. Come with me. Did I finally catch the stream of the 70th best League of Angels player? Mop, this is the first thing you've ever said in the chat and you want to get banned. Is that... I don't even know what that game is. I've never played that game. I have no idea who that game is at all. Don't know what we're on about. 360... Hang on, right, let's just... Okay, so I am playing on widescreen mode, which means that things are slightly stretched. You just have to deal with that, okay? Yes, remember the rhyme to work out the streaming time. Saturday at 7, but Sunday at 4. It's a very easy rhyme, I think. And I came up with it all by myself, which I'm very proud of. Now, I am playing with some mods on Morrowind. I'm playing with the widescreen mod, and I'm playing with the graphical extender mod. I'm also playing with the... Um, easier to read text. So voices, a bit louder. Footsteps and music will have slightly lower. Master in general can go to there. So I want you guys to be able to hear the NPCs. So I've also remapped it, so jump is space and activate is E. Now if you played Morrowind, it might look a little bit different to what you remember. Because normally in the vanilla game, you pretty much can't see any of the distant land. The skybox is totally different. The clouds aren't there. You can't see anywhere near as far. But I've uh, I've pretty much modded this. It's only two graphical mods. I've only got the extended Morrowind. I am playing van I'm playing the vanilla client with the extended graphics to it. That's what I'm doing. Now, full disclosure, I've. I have finished Morrowind as a kid. In fact, I've got this vivid memory. I used to have a laptop, really old laptop, and I would sit on my bed, on my laptop, playing Morrowind, and it would play it like a PowerPoint. Honestly, I'd see one frame every second or so, because it was just chugging along. And I managed to beat Blood Moon, which is the expansion where you go to like the, the snow-ravaged lands. And that snow just completely tanked my FPS. I had to play almost all of Blood Moon looking down, at the floor so I didn't see any of the snow because it would just tank my FPS. So I have finished this, but my god I cannot remember. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. What are, what do we be, guys? What are, now the first time I played this through as a kid, I played as a red guard. And I really enjoyed playing through as a red guard because you got some you got resist disease and resist poison, which was fantastic. Like that was good. That was decent. That was a nice little little boost, but what else? Remember the leveling in Morrowind is so broken because you get to choose major skills, minor skills, and then random other skills. And every time you've leveled, I think it's like 10 of your major or minor skills, or you've gained 10 levels in them totally, that's when you level up. But you're only able to put skill points into certain skills that you have leveled up. Basically, the best way to play Morrowind is to choose the major and minor skills that you're never, ever going to use and then level everything else up, but only level those random crap skills when you actually want to gain a level. It's a broken system, and I will at some point try and explain it in a video. But we've got the Argonians. Also, you can't just click on the head and spin it left and right. You have to click the little scroll thing here, which spins it round. So there's going to be... Look, if you're a... If you're a young, hip, hop, happening kind of Gen Z kid, Fortnite, you know, iPad baby, you are going to look at this game and think that looks crusty. And you're not wrong, all right? You're not wrong. But you have to remember that to, to millennial gamers like me, this is very much a... Um, we still see this as new. I bought Morrowind from a shop. I bought it in the box with all of the discs and had to install it on a PC with a disc drive. And some of you were going, that's, that's fine, that's, that's not a problem plus. Obese to beast, you're young, you're 31. Obese to beast, do you want to hear a terrible, terrible, terrible thing? Did you ever play Dawn of War? You know, the Warhammer 40k real-time strategy game, Dawn of War. Dawn of War is 20 years old. Dawn of War is two decades old. Dawn of War has graduated college. I'm sorry, but that's just true. Right, what are we playing? Everyone stop distracting me. What are we playing? Sunday is meant to be a chilled, calm stream where we actually make some progress into the game. We've been streaming for 15 minutes. I'm still just looking at the side of a Dark Elf's head. Right, this isn't going to work. 
No, it's not. It is. It came out in 2004. You can Google that. It's 2024 right now, man. It really is. All right, cool. What are we doing? Um, are we playing Imperial because of the, the bowl cut somewhere? So let's see. Voice of the Emperor. Charm, 25 to 50 points. Star of the West. Absorb fatigue. There is... I just play as a cat. There is a kind of meta if you want to speedrun the game, but we are not speedrunning the game. See, I'm... Water breathing might be useful. Play as a cat. Could you... I mean, that's... Look, the the level of furry that Morrowind lets you be is not exactly... It's not Saber Spark levels, is it? I mean, look at it. No one's looking at that and going, Oh, fantastic. Someone, someone spent 50 grand on a custom animation of that. No one's doing that. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm turning to dust now. You are. Being Argonian, I love being <laughs> an evolutionary cuddle. Uh, okay. Okay, we can do that. Resist disease is not important since potions are so common. Argonian so we can disappoint. Josh, you will never beat the furry allegations. Just give it up. Look. All right. As long as Saber Spark exists, he is the line in the sand between me and you. Between me and them. And I will firmly stand behind that line. As soon as he quits YouTube, if he ever does, oh my god, then I'm in trouble. Nobody wants the wood elf. That's true. Down there at the bottom. Look at you. Resist disease and beast tongue. No one needs that. I am still tempted to go for the red guard again. For the adrenaline rush, which is a really, really good ability. But maybe I should be a basic... Okay, fine. We will be an Argonian. Resist disease, immune to poison, water breathing. Two minutes worth of water breathing. That's decent. Unless there's, like, anything else that we can get that's incredibly good. Sanctuary, resist fire. High elf is weak to everything, so you're just completely useless. Khajiit, hang on, night eye, eye of fear. Nords are immune to frost, which is just always good. Maybe it'd be a good old Nord boy. You know what, you're all going to be mad at me unless I play as an Argonian, aren't you? So we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do the lizard stuff. I cannot. I absolutely... It's not... Someone's like, that's still furry. Actually, it's scaly, so... Not that I am, but if we're going to go with those allegations anyway, let me just gently lead those to a different way. Right, we'll go with Scaly. Skill bonus, Alchemy, Athletics, Illusion, Medium Armor, Mysticism, Spear, and Unarmored. You don't really want Medium Armor for anything, because Medium Armor sucks, like in general. Hang on, we are RPing as the Lusty Argonian Maid. I'm not against the idea. Like, <laughs> maybe maybe she was the Nereva. All right, I'm thinking maybe we do need to roleplay finishing Morrowind as the Lusty Hargonian Maid and make choices that she would make. Because she's the one that has the stories written about her. Excellent. I mean, we are going to use a spear, and she does know how to handle a spear. I have read the book. Okay, fine. Now we're on board. Now everyone's like... All right, cool. Roleplay. We're doing it. This is it. I've never read The Lusty Argonian Maid. Mate, you're about to see it acted out live in the game. Fine. Change hair. Can you change the hair? Okay, I'd never thought I was going to say this, but what is the lustiest Argonian hairstyle? Like a, a thong? A tiny little head thong? Or are we talking... Maybe some feathers going on there? I quite like these things, these little dangly medallion things down the side. The braids? He's saying the braids for it. Everyone else is like, we can't see it. Oh, hang on, there's some chain mail going on back there. The bra- oh, the braids are also there. No, I think we're sticking with these little hanging down dangly things. I'm going with that. Okay. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. I will fit I'll right in, mate. The office and they'll finish your release. Or it'll fit right in. Oh, lusty Argonian maid jokes are going to come at you thick and fast. Like something else. Oh, second joke already. My God, this playthrough is going to be perfect. This is brilliant. This has started right now. Everyone else just stop. We're going to go for... We're playing Morrowind. Everyone, someone said to me, Josh, Palworld's doing really well. I'm like, no, no, shut up. Listen, all right? Morrowind. Just bear with me. Let's do this. Here we go. I'm RPing as the lusty Argonian maid. Ah, yes. 
we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. The choice is yours, honey. Okay. Right, I think we create custom class, fill out the forms for ourselves. Or do we... Do we pick from a list, generate class? Do we answer his questions? Maybe we should answer his questions and see what we would come out as. Let's answer his questions honestly, as the lusty Argonian maid, and see On what... On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What uh do you do? Well, first thing I do, my friend, is I turn the volume up on the game so you guys can hear the in-game stuff. Let me know if this is better for you. I've turned the volume up on the game pretty substantially. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. Do we draw our dagger, mercifully ending its life with a single thrust? Do we use herbs from our pack to put it to sleep, or do we not interfere? in the natural evolution of events, but rather take the opportunity to learn more about a strange animal that we have never seen before. Lusty Argoni Mae, what would she do? Convince me in the chat. What would she do? Maybe option A, because it's only a single thrust. Also, option A does contain the word thrust. I feel that the Lusty Argonian Maid would have stopped reading after that sentence and just her head would have wondered. That's the, the thrust. Use herbs to put it to sleep. No, no, there's no sleep when she's involved. Uh, do not interfere. Oh, no. No, no, she's going to interfere, so we thrust. One summer afternoon, your father gives you a choice of chores. What would you rather do? Your father gives you a choice of chores, so Daddy has asked us to do something. Do we go and catch fish at the stream using a net and a line? Do we work in the forge with him casting iron for a new plow? Or do we get... <laughs> do we even need a third option? We've just read the word plow. It's immediately that's the choice. The third option would be gather herbs for your mother who is preparing dinner. No, no, the word plow is involved. We, we plow, daddy. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. Did the cousin come what up with the name do? The Lusty Argonian Maid? Have we discovered some deep Morrowind lore that not even Todd Howard knew about? Is my cousin responsible for calling me The Lusty Argonian Maid? So we've been given a bad nickname. What do we do? Do we make up an even more embarrassing nickname for him and use it constantly until he learns his lesson? Do we beat up your cousin then tell him if he ever calls you that nickname again you will uh, bloody him worse than before? Or do you make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honour instead of something humiliating? I think we go with badge of honour. If someone walks up to me and says you are one lusty Argonian maid, I'm gonna go thank you. Thank you very much. You take that power back. You own it. It's ours now. There is a lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths. They've been hired by certain city-state kings. Rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not. You believe what? So, what do we believe about telepaths. In these times it is a necessary evil, although you do not necessarily like the idea. A telepath could have certain advantages during a time of war or in finding someone innocent of a crime. Do we say loyal followers of the king have nothing to fear from a telepath? It is important to have a method of finding assassins and spies before it is too late. Or do we say this is a terrible practice? A person's thoughts are his own and no one, not even a king, has the right to make such an invasion into another human's mind. What would the lusty Argonian maid do? Would she understand that this is a necessary evil and telepaths are useful? Do we say that, you know, if you, you got nothing to hide, you got nothing to fear, trust the government, that's fine. Or do we say no? No, your thoughts are your own. Nothing should go inside without your consent. I very much feel that she would be part of number three. I think she's 100% about consent. I mean, she may be lusty, Argonian, and a maid, but all of these things are done with consent, okay? She's a respectful girl. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake, a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. 
What do you do? So we got a little bit too much change when we went shopping. Do we pocket the extra money? Knowing that shopkeepers in general tend to overcharge customers anyway. Do we decide to put the extra money to a good use and purchase items that would help your family? Or do we return to the shop and give the shopkeeper his hard-earned money, explaining to him the mistake? So we've been given too much change. Do we keep it? Because, you know, karma, it's ours anyway. Do we keep it but do good things with it? Or do we go back and give it back to him? And putting it that way makes it sound dirtier. Pocket the extra money, knowing that shopkeepers in general tend to overcharge customers anyway. Uh, you guys are saying one. You guys are saying one. I mean... Siren, you do put a good argument for it. We are a maid, but we may be lusty, but we are virtuous. Some of you are saying two, three. Hang on, three has the word hard in it. It does. It's the only one of them that has the word hard in it. So none of those words are rude. None of those words are rude, but that does have the word hard in it. Therefore, three has to win. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? For anyone just joining the stream, we're actually role-playing Morrowind as the lusty Argonian maid. So I've chosen Argonian as the race already, and we are answering all the questions in role-play of what the lusty Argonian maid would answer the questions as. We will then be using a spear and medium armor throughout pretty much the entire game as we go around and gently poke things until we become the Nerevar. So yes, we are role-playing the lusty Argonian maid. What would she answer? It is literally the horniest Morrowind playthrough ever. So. Thief cut a bag from a noble's purse. What do we do? Pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only honourable thing to do is return the money to its rightful owner. Do we pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble? Or do we leave the bag there, knowing that it's better to not get involved in these kind of things? What do we do? What do we do? Now, pick up the bag... I mean, you've already translated it in the chat to grab the pouch. That could work as well. And signal to the guard, knowing the only honourable, honourable might think. That mean, that's a thing that the Lost Yargonian maid's into. Pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble, maybe. Sexy uniform. That's true. We could spend it on a sexy uniform. That's true. That's what we could buy. Return the bag to seduce the noble. Cup the bag gently in your hand. Okay, we might be, yes. Maybe we need to return it to its rightful owner. Look, we've already taken money from a shopkeeper. We don't need money from this person as well. Maybe the noble is a lovely chap and it would be good to have friends. So I think we're going to signal to the guard and honorably return this person's money. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you, in return for a future favor of his choosing. What uh, do you do? All right, so we need to clean some dirty horse stables out. And our friend is like, I'll do it, but you owe me a favor. Do we accept his offer? Reasoning that, as long as the stables are cleaned, it matters not who does the cleaning. Do we ask him to help you, knowing that two people can do the job faster than one? Stop it. And agree to help him with one task of his choosing in the future? Or do we decline his offer, knowing that your father expects you to do the work, and it's better to not be in debt? I think we definitely go with number two. Ask him to help, and then we help him out, you know? I help you, you help me, helping hands all round. I think the lusty Argonian maid would totally be into that. She'd walk in and be like, oh my goodness, these stables are so dirty. That's what she'd say. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? Do we push your mother out of the way? Do we grab the hot pipe and try to push it away? Or do we position yourself between the pipe and your mother? Keep it together. This is going on YouTube. Cannot get demonetized. 
they're all good. These are all good. Yeah, there is no wrong answer here. I think you say we know the answer, but it's definitely grab it's it's either grab the hot pipe and try to push it away, but I believe that implies attempting to, you know, move something away. Position yourself between the pipe and your mother. Now that is definitely part of the Lost Argonian Maid story. That is I agree with Jimmy the Pirate typing in chat. If you want to pipe my mum, you're gonna to have to go through me first. Not in like a combat way, in a totally different situational way. But yes, we are absolutely positioning. I didn't even know this was going to be a Lost Argonian made roleplay playthrough. And yet it is. Welcome. There are thousands of other Twitch channels. You can go and watch anyone play any game. Pal World's quite popular. You can go and do that. No, no. We'll all sit here playing a 20-year-old RPG roleplaying as a Lusty Argonian. While in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. <laughs> what do you do? All right, gang. Is the volume okay for you guys? Can you guys hear the in-game audio okay? I've tried to turn the in-game music down, but the character voice is up, so hopefully you guys can hear what's, uh, what's being said decently. We are role-playing as the Lusty Argonian Maid. Right, so we've bought a sweet roll, and we've been um, assaulted. Act like you're going to give him the sweet roll, but at the last minute, throw it in the air, hoping they'll pay attention to it long enough for you to get a shot in on the leader. Do we give him the sweet roll now without any argument, knowing that later this afternoon, you will have all your friends with you, and you can come and take whatever he owes you? Or do you drop the sweet roll and step on it, and then get ready for a fight? You find the audio a little low, I will turn it up slightly more. So, what are we doing? Are we going to act like we're going to give him something, but then throw it back and hope we get attention? Do we give him the sweet roll and know that we're going to come back later? Revenge is a dish best served cold. Or do we just drop it and step on it? I feel that step on it is doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence. I feel that the Lusty Argonian Maid would read Step on Me and increase her price slightly, but still be okay with that. So yes. Then get ready for a bit of a struggle. Yeah, we'll do that. Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. What do you do? What I do now is I turn the volume up slightly more. Right, so you guys have got slightly more volume from the game. Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running to from a crowd toward you. Do we? Rush to the man's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge of the circumstance. Do we rush to the town's aid immediately, despite your lack of knowledge of the circumstance? Or do we stand aside and allow the man and mob to pass, realizing that it's probably best to not get involved? So two would involve trying to aid one man with lots of people being angry at me. So one would involve that. Two would involve trying to rush to the town's aid. What do we, is the man hot? That's true. I suppose, how many can the Lusty Argonian Maid handle? That's the question. I think the Lusty Argonian Maid is very capable and remarkably skilled and can probably handle the whole town. So I feel that we could quite easily take on the town. We will aid the man, knowing that we may need to then beat off the town. But I think we have the skills to do that. Your personality and past reflect as a warrior, the most basic of all the classes. You know, we could just not be a warrior. We can just completely change it. You reflect as a warrior. Do we play Very as a good. warrior? The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Lude Geek says, we did all the bad MMOs, so you're now just playing bad games. This is Morrowind. How dare you? This is... This is RPG royalty. Well, I feel that everyone remembers Morrowind really well. Then you go back and play it and realize it was absolute just... It was crusty and janky. That's what it was. I'm pretty sure we just go for the lover sign here. Straight away. So, fortify agility, power, lover's kiss, paralyze for 60 seconds, damage fatigue, 200 points on self. So we paralyze the opponent, but we wear ourselves out. We've all been there. I think that's very relatable to absolutely everyone. 
Let's do it. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Name, Twitch Chat the Fourth. Race, Argonian. Class, Warrior, Sign, The Lover. Health, Magicka, Fatigue. Strength is pretty standard. Major skills, Long Blade. Medium Armor, Heavy Armor, Athletics, and Block. Minor skills, Armorer, Spear, Marksman, Axe, and Blunt Weapon. That actually seems okay for me. I am role-playing as the Lusty Argonian Maid, by the way. Uh, I recommend doing Custom Class. We could do Custom Class. However, we've got a lot of stamina, which I feel the Lusty Argonian Maid would have. Miscellaneous skills, destruction, conjuration. The problem with Morrowind's leveling system is that you actually don't want to level your major and minor skills because then you level too quickly, but you don't get the points to spend on them. That's really bad. I feel that we maybe want to go for leveling magic at some point. Maybe light blade, acrobatics, speech craft. Yeah, the, the leveling system is just terrible. It's just absolutely goddamn awful. Okay, here we go. Let's just do this. It's not that bad since we don't have that much NPC scaling. That's true, you don't actually. All NPC... There's no NPC scaling at all. I lie. There is a major glitch, a major bug in Morrowind. One of the early missions, when you go into a dungeon, it sets the boss to what's meant to be like 1.1 times your level. So if you go in at level 10, it sets to level 11. If you go in at level... 20 it sets to level 22 that kind of thing but they put the decimal point in the wrong place and it sets to 11 times your level so if you go in at level 1 it sets to level 11 but if you go in at level 10 it sets to level you know 110 which is insanely powerful uh, i don't think you can actually end up killing it and it sets the level when you go in and it stays that way for the entire game so what we actually need to do is find that dungeon and go in when we are low level to set the boss at that cap then come back to it in like 20 levels time hang on we could we can change it to an argonian name and you have recommended sore knees that that could work i feel that we should we should change the name possibly to lust t because she is the rename i think because this is the... Uh, that was her name before the the amazing chronicle of the Lusty Argonian Maid. So I think we go with Lusty. That is her name. Because that's a true Argonian name. Lusty. Beautiful. Lusty the Busty Argonian. <laughs> I enjoyed being monetized on Twitch. It was, it was fun while it lasted. Yes. Okay, so Lusty Argonian Warrior the Lover. Is there a class that would fit better? Should we just pick the class from the class list? I'm just just out of curiosity, because we can always go back to Warrior. But what what class do you think would fit a I mean she could be a rogue? Nightblade. She could handle a blade at night. Make a custom class called Maid. That is Hang on. Custom class. I know that we did all the questions, and some of you are thinking, Josh, you've been streaming for half an hour. How are we still in the census office? If you've not been on these streams before, we don't make progress that fast. All right, this is this game's going to take about a couple of months to finish, especially if we're streaming on Sunday. Now, please remember, I will be streaming on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 4 p.m. That's UK time. But in order to help you remember that, I've created a little rhyme little poem, little ditty. Just remember this. Saturday at 7, Sunday at 4. It's a perfect little rhyme. There you go, it's perfect. You're not an RPG veteran if you don't send an hour in the character creation. When am I going to start reading Berserk? Eventually. Eventually. Okay, here we go. Let's just create our own uh, class name. Uh, adventurer. No, no. That must be changed. I wish to change this. So, we go back... Fill out forms yourself. Create custom class. Can I not just change this? Specialization. Oh yeah, you just click back. Made. Specialization. Right, do we want combat magic or stealth? I feel that combat is a good one. Got it. Saturday at Sunday, 7 at 4. Spot on. Perfect. You've nailed it. I think combat's a good one. 
because we are going to be handling a lot of spears. Block, medium armor, armorer, heavy blade. Heavy blades. Favorite attribute. What? I think her favorite attribute would be endurance. Without a doubt. Everyone's favorite attribute here is endurance. Now, strength, intelligence, willpower, spe speed. I feel that if you've got endurance and speed, however, endurance and personality. That, I think endurance and spurt personality, that's the important one. You bring those two, you're doing good. Personality, yeah. If you walk up and say, hi, I've got uh, personality and endurance, good. Now we get with major skills, we can choose five of them. What are the major skills of Lust T, the Argonian Maid? We've got combat magic and stealth. Hand to hand, maybe. I think we now need to choose stuff that... And remember, with the annoying thing of how major skills work, these actually don't need to be stuff we used a hell of a lot. They really don't need to be. Athletics. Major skills of athletics. Yep, because... Uh, is athletics different to acrobatics? Let me just have a quick double check at that. I think it is, because athletics counts as combat and acrobatics counts as something else. Unarmored. All right. Okay, we go with unarmored, do we? There's probably not going to be that much of the game where I'm playing unarmored, because Morrowind is a difficult game. But major skills. Unarmored, possibly hand-to-hand. -hand. Long blade. I think long blade we definitely go with. Or do we go with spear? So athletics, long blade, spear. Heavy armor I think is too much. Maybe we should go with either light armor. You know, a bit of rope kind of stuff going on. Or maybe we go with medium armor. Medium armor might be good. Leather. I think medium armor involves leather. That's kind of stuff. Athletics, long blade, spear, medium armor. Blunt weapon. Blunt weapon could be a good choice. But maybe now we go with speechcraft. I think speechcraft would be a good one. Because the governing attribute is personality. We go with speechcraft. Minor skills. What about mysticism? Mysticism is very, very useful for teleportation spells, as you have correctly put. That's very, very true. You need to go unarmored. Read the description. Absorbing blows. Unarmored skill lets you avoid or reduce injury combat while injury during combat while not wearing any armor by evading, deflecting, or absorbing blows. That's true. Yeah, that needs to be there right away. That's that's in a minor skill. What else are we going for for the minor skills? Possibly sneak. Would a maid be sneaky? I think a maid might be sneaky. Block armor. Armorer is very important. Maintain weapons and armor at top effectiveness. Worn weapons do less damage. Worn armor provides less protection. As wear increases, the diminishing effect of weapons and armor is dramatic. You always want protection. So we go with armorer. All right, protection is very important right there. Heavy armor I'm probably not going to wear too much of, so it's not really an important thing to have. But I believe we also need a bit of restoration. Possibly some restoration. Does she have to sneak away after the one night stand? Possibly. It's it's gonna turn into a stealth archer. We all know it's gonna turn into a stealth archer. We know that. Okay? We all know that. Let's not kid ourselves that that's not going to happen. What about illusion? Illusions. Hang on. Illusion effects blind, illuminate, paralyze, and silence, calm or enrage, charm, distract, camouflage, and render invisible. Possibly. All roads do lead to Stealth Archer. That's true. Illusion alteration. Alteration effects include water breathing and walking, jumping, levitating, opening and locking, creating shield barriers against physical damage, destruction. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. The destruction skill is the mastery of spell effects in the College of Destruction. Their spells harm living and unliving things and include elemental damage, draining, damaging vulnerability, and disintegration magical effects. The word draining is in there, so unfortunately destruction needs to happen. That is a thing. Block and enchant. Ooh, enchanted items burn less power and are recharged more efficiently. Enchanted items could be good. It's got many touch spells too, that's very, very true. I'm not going to block because I'm going to be using a spear for most of this, or a bow, probably a bow. Do we go with bow? 
for stealth? Do we go with uh, marksman? She is very enchanting, that's true. She is very enchanting. I didn't even think we should go with enchanting, so... Enchant- we've got enchant already, we need one more. We need one more. Don't say enchantment, because I will have flashbacks to Dragon Age Origins. We need hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay, I feel that we do need hand-to-hand -hand in there. So, class, maid. Specialization, combat, favorite attributes, endurance, and personality. Major skills. She's athletic. She can handle a long blade. She can handle a spear. She can deal with some leather armor, and she can do some speech craft or two. Minor skills. Pretty good unarmored. Uh, pretty good at keeping things protected with armorer. Destruction, which is all about draining things. She's very enchanting, and she's great at hand-to-hand. -hand. I feel this is definitely the Lusty Argonian maid class, and I am going to be proud to play her. Let's do it. So, Lus T, the Argonian Maid, the Lover. If you have just arrived in the stream, by the way, we are going to roleplay all of Morrowind as the Lusty Argonian Maid. She is called Lus T, the Argonian Maid. We have officially made this. The Lusty Argonian's Maid is lifts her tail. No, that's the that's the f the fan name given to her. Her original name. We are creating her origin story right now. Her name was Lust T. Please rename it to Lust T. T E A. That, I suppose, fits me better, doesn't it? Lust T. There we go. The Argonian maid. Athletics, long blades, spear, medium armor, speechcraft, unarmored armor, destruction, enchant, hand to hand, and miscellaneous skills as basically everything else. Let's do it. You now have a stats menu, where you can always view your information. Right-clicking allows you to use your menus. When you're done, right-click again Show to close them. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Read your papers by pressing E while looking at them and then take. For release by Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh's decree to the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morrowind. Lust T, the Argonian Maid. Signed, Socius Agala. Thanks, Todd Howard, for just adding all these weird names into the game. Agent of the Sedanian Imperial Census and Exercise, 16th of Last Seed. It, not with the, it won't be the last seed with Lust T around of the Third Age 427. So, you now have an inventory menu where you can see what you're carrying. Right click. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, hang on. You guys want to be able to see this. There we go. That. That's what we need more of. And we stick that there. We put this like that. She is perfect. Everything about her is amazing. All right, cool. Let's do this. Continue through to the next building and talk to Salus Gravius. I will. Can you get... Um, can you have... I don't know if you can. Subtitles. Yes. I don't know about you guys, but... I prefer subtitles. I just think it's one of those accessibility options that should be on as standard. Your camera is over your stats. Give me a second. That is true. I can fix this. Not a problem. Uh, I will need to... I'm sorry, Josh, your camera is a bit centered. Could we move it off center a bit? Yeah, sure. Hang on. Just let me, let me sort this out. I can do this for you, no problem at all. I can make this way easier. Uh, I'll stick me there. That can then go down to there. And the chat can be moved to there. So you guys can now see the stats. Am I going to fix the green screen issue that's behind the camera? I'll have a look at it. Give me a second. Don't expect much, though. Uh, chroma key. Similarity. Maybe just, like, slightly more? Yeah, that's fine. Look at me. I'm going to be hot fixing in the middle of a stream. You'd think... You think I know what I'm doing. Wait, Josh actually fixed the positioning. Look, if I always take the piss, it becomes expected. You know, you guys, you start to expect me taking the piss. You're like, ah, oh, and no, I know he's going to do that all the time. But if I, ha I put in a little bit of effort every now and again, it, it tricks you. I have not completely keyed out this green can, though. Right, let's do this. 
You should learn how to do combat. Pick up the dagger on the table by activating it with E. Okay, so first of all, if you've never seen Morrowind combat, my god, you're in for some serious dice rolls here. Equip the dagger by dropping it onto your picture. She has got a shaft in her hand. Press F to pull out your weapon. Once your weapon is readied, hold and release the left mouse button to swing it. The harder you swing, the more damage it does, but the more fatigue you will drain. I know. So, hold, swing, hold, swing. But Morrowind has this really weird thing where if I stand still and attack, I swing it over my head. If I move forward while attacking, I stab it forward. If I move backwards, I stab it. If I move to the side, I slice to that side. So some enemies are actually weak to overhead slashes, some are weak to stabs, and some are weak to side-to-side -side things. It's, it's a whole thing. It is, it is not great. It's very, very annoying. But now we go, I want to say, we don't, I know one thing. There's a little, there's a ring somewhere that we can steal. And then I think you can give it to someone and then you get some things back. You now have a map. It shows you the name of the place you are and you're facing. Look at that. Beautiful map. That reminds me of the map I had as a kid on my wall. Did anyone else own the... The Morrowind actual kind of disc, and you it came with a map. Do you remember that? That was awesome. I love that. That map was fantastic. You folded it out, you stuck it there, and when you explore the map, and this game is bloody big. For saying that, you know, fast travel is ooh, bloody slow in this game, the map was big, and the local map just does not help. Who else played this game, and there was a quest that said you had to go east to a mountain, but there was actually a translation error, and it meant to say go west? I explored the entire eastern continent trying to find that mountain. It was not there. There are mistakes in this game. Remember? Skyrim's like, go here, here is an arrow, here is a door, you need to go here. Morrowind's like, good luck. Good luck, my friend. Let's search this barrel. <gasps> It's an engraved ring of healing, and I'm going to stick me up there so you can see what I've got. There's also a petty soul gem and a spoon. All mine. You now have a magic menu where you can see all your powers, spells, and magic items. Like all menus, right-click. Press R to ready active magic. So, magic menu is just here. This is a game of menus, so enjoy this. We take the engraved ring of healing. We equip it. That is now readied. I believe. So we press R to ready magic. There should be a magic menu where you can choose what you want to do. Okay, you click there. So we have we have readied our in, readied our engraved ring of healing. We press R to ready the spell, and then when we click, we cast it. And you can see in the very bottom the little tiny ring. My arm's covering it just there. Little tiny ring has. Uh, in fact, hang on. You know what? I can make this even better. I can fully fix this stream. I can make you guys think I'm really good at this. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, you guys can actually see my health and what I've got equipped and all of its status. And you might be thinking, that's a little bit too small for the screen. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Okay? Be fine. Totally 100% fine. I could just put me, like, there... Or there. Or there. I feel that... No, we need to solve this problem. I can't go down there because there's the, the world's tiniest, crappiest map. And the current effects that I've got on me. Can't go down there. I could twist 90 degrees and go on the side of the screen. Or just right in the middle. I feel there's good. There's decent because that way I'm not going to have that many magical items equipped on me. How about upside down just on the ceiling? I will do that later, but I will not mention it. I won't say anything about it. That's just going to happen. Right? You can click on the top right of the window to pin it. I could. I could. And that way, it looks like that. I mean, that's a perfect place for a map for me. That should stay there. That's absolutely fine. No, I'm going to have a full screen. Full screen for it. Caught a stream two days after I spent my prime. So I guess you get the real thing. Hope you move on. My goodness. I, I mean, I knew that I was worth a couple of Prime subs, but you actually put some real money into that. My God. I also realized that I can use this can to just chroma key me out, and you guys can see the game below that. So if anything really important happens, I'll just put this can where it needs to be, and you can see the rest of the game. 
Now, uh, is this the game with the Dwemer ruins that got just so philosophical? No, no, that was Skyrim. Oh, if you don't do anything in the game, the camera just pans around. For anyone who's just joined the stream, allow me to explain. We are role-playing Morrowind as the character Lus T. She's an Argonian, and we've made a custom class of maid. So, you might be thinking, the Lusty Argonian maid? Yes. That this is the origin story of her. The real Lusty Argonian maid was not Lifts Her Tail. It was Lust T, the Argonian maid. Every decision we are making is based on what, what Lust T would do. Look, that's her name. Where is it? Lust T. So, if. Well, obviously, we've taken the weapon Spear, because that's very, very, very important, but I don't know what to do. We have been playing for 53 minutes. We've got out of the first Sadanine building. Don't worry, I'm going to speedrun the rest of the game. It's absolutely fine. Press E to talk to the captain. Select topics to ask about them. Don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. Mate, you couldn't dislike me if you tried. You could not. Hey man, how's it going? First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celus Gravis. But my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here. Or why you were released from prison and shipped here. But your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septon the Seventh himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man. I'm pretty sure I'm a woman, but good try. I, I understand that Argonians do look the same, but the, the, the boobs are there. And people will go, actually, lizards don't have boobs. No, listen, how else would you know it's a lady lizard? How would you know? You need the boobs. So we look at the lizard and go, yep. That's a lady lizard. But before you go, I have instructions of your duties. Instructions from the Emperor. So pay careful attention. This package come... <laughs> I will laugh at every single word that could even possibly be rude. But I will put the chat up here so you guys can read it as well. This package came with the news of your arrival. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We don't get any better. We've peaked. It took 55 minutes, but we've peaked. All right, cool. So, apparently, all we need to do is turn up. This package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cossidus. Is it Caius Cossidus? It's Caius, yeah. Take it to Caius Cossidus in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Cossidus. Or Cossades. I was going to say Caius. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I will. I also have a letter for you. And a dispersal to your name. Thank you very much. Uh, that sounds great. Where's Caius? Report to Caius in Balmora. Balmora is north of Sedanin. The road passes Palagrad village and Fort Palagade. Crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth, then turns west over the Odai River and into Balmora. The South Wall Corner Club is in southeast Balmora, on the east side of the river. I hope you're writing all this down, by the way, because the game does not remember this for you. You just need to remember stuff. For more detailed directions, talk to Elon the Scout at Aril's Trade House here in Sedanin. But take my advice. You're new here. Take the Silt Strider to Balmora. Fast, cheap, safe. Cross the bridge and head east. Can't miss it. Any time now. You think I'm new. New! My goodness! Never been so insulted. I've played Morrowind before. You have a journal, but it remembers half the details. Press J to open the journal. My orders are to go to the town of Balmora in Vardenfelt. Sorry, I forgot that we're role-playing as the... Lusty Argonian maid. My orders are to go to the town of Balmora in the Vardenfell district and report to a man named Caius Cassades. To find out where he lives, I should ask him Balmora at the corner club, South Wall. When I find Caius Cassades, I must give him a package of documents and wait for further orders. If you just tuned in, by the way, uh, we are role playing all of Morrowind as Lust T, the Argonian maid. There is a way... Okay. So that is... <laughs> she, 
she walks like that because of reasons. I'm waiting. Also, everyone's been saying I'm a man. I it, I did pick female. I'm 99% sure I did pick female. I think it records that. I'm 99% sure it does record that. It doesn't matter. But everyone's called me a man so far. You're not sure. You, we, we don't, you did. I did pick female. Brilliant. We, we are a female Argonian maid. Right. That's... Uh, you can't zoom out, by the way. The third person view is just locked to this. That's what it is. I don't know if we... Yeah, that's... Either... Go either... Ahead, stranger. Either we've been hitting the gym on just chest and glutes day, or that is a good pair of booba. Right, that's... Oh, God, that's going to be a clip, and everyone's going to say I'm a scaly. Ah, oh, fine. I'll go and sit with Saber Spark. It's okay. Right, let's do this. We need to go east. Um, if only we knew which way east was. So, Palagrade and... Okay, Balmore is basically just north of where we are. If we run north, we can't get lost, can we? Let's just go north. Remember that in Morrowind, you can look at signposts and stuff. And you kind of have to. So, Pla Ode, Narmok, Ebonheart, Balmora, this way. Let's go this way. You walk as if you have a sore bottom. Hey. Hey, how, how Lusty makes her living is no one's business. I mean, walking is worse. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. I mean, you run like you've shit yourself, but you walk like you've not yet finished shitting yourself. And I do not know which is... Sideways is fine. Oh, no, it's not. Sideways fast movement is not good. What about backwards? Back... All of this is terrible. We... <laughs> We've got a hundred hour RPG ahead of us. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, it's probably this way. For those, of, it's been a long time since I played Morrowind, so please don't, don't be thinking he knows exactly what he's doing. I haven't got a clue. Uh, I just straight up haven't got a clue. Ah, Morrowind combat time. Remember that every single time you attack, you are rolling the dice. thrilling stuff. <clears throat> this... This is not gonna get better. Why is the blunt attacking you? Welcome to Morrowind. Ooh, some serious noise there. So the enemy health is the yellow bar to the bottom left. My health is the red bar, and... My dagger has a little red bar underneath it that shows you... There we go. That shows you the status of this dagger. Now, the way that Morrowind works is... Is this going to be turned into a Was It Good? Potentially, yes. But it's going to take a long, long time to finish all of Morrowind. Now, the way this works is when you see this dagger, you see here that it says dagger. Chop. Four to five, four to five, five to five. What that means is if you attack quickly, you'll do the first number, and if you charge up and attack longer, you can do the second number. But the longer you charge up, the greater your accuracy as well. We... we are not accurate. At all. You get more accurate as you get better at using a weapon, but you very much have to trudge through the... the junk in order to get to the gold. We... we will be... Your maid doesn't have any boobs because you don't see them looking down. Oh no, we have no legs either. Also, every single time you jump, you use a tiny bit of stamina. And I think acrobatics or athletics is one of our major traits, so it might actually be a good idea to do that. Can you see... Yeah, you can see that we've got athletics. So, progress towards skill, 9 out of 100. But if we just keep jumping... When we have a look again... Our progress is now... Is it athletics or... It's one of them. Oh no, is it the other one? It's acrobatics. Oh no, 70... Okay, that's fine. Acrobatics are still okay. That's good because we can level a minor skill before we level the major skills and that gives us the plus five to the level up. 
Don't try and understand Morrowind's level up system. You won't be able to. Ah, so the other one is just running. So we we level up by just running. Caldera Balmora, this way. Acrobatics and athletics. Vim, hey Josh. I have a dream job interview next week and I'm panicking even though I know I'm qualified for it. Ever had a situation like that? Of course I have, man. All the time. All the time. Let me give you some advice. When you walk into that room to be interviewed with them, they have a problem. You are the solution. They're tired. They want their problem solved, man. They have a job opening and they need someone to do that job and they are irritated that nobody's doing it. They wake up stressed. They wake up annoyed. They wake up scared that their company, they're losing money because nobody's doing the job that you can do. When you walk into that room, they're not thinking, oh, I'm going to find all his faults and make him leave. <laughs> this is going to be great. They're thinking, please, good God, please solve our problem. So when you sit down, you don't need to be thinking, oh my God, I, I hope they don't spot any, any problems with me. I hope they don't you know, ask me to leave. I hope they don't spot all my negatives. Sit down and be like, look, I can do the things that you need done. Here's the proof. Here's the experience. Here's what I need from you. Here's what you can give me. We can mutually benefit each other. I am the solution to your problem. Whenever I went to an audition, for a theatre show, for a film, TV show, for any kind of thing, any performance. When I walked into that audition room, everyone else was going, are you nervous, are you nervous, are you nervous? In a way, yes, because I care about what I do, and I think nerves show that you care. But in another more accurate way, what I'm really bothered about is knowing that I am the solution to their problem. And when I walk on stage, they don't need to worry. I'm going to learn my lines, I'm going to be in the right place, I'm going to act my little socks off. And the audience is going to have a good time. So when you go for that job interview, yeah, they might ask some questions that you're unsure on, but you can reassure them saying, look, I can solve your problem. That dude just there, pay attention to him. What can I do for you, friend? Oh, that's not the right one. Uh, there's another one that just shoots off into the air and then slams onto the floor. Hey, how's it going? What was I thinking? My goodness, should we should we have a chat? <laughs> Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. A bandit nearby? Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf. A strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Jewels, you say? What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny. I simply must see him again. His name? Uh, Nelos. Nelos Onmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me. Please. I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return. But could you not help me? For the sake of love? First quest. First quest you run into in Morrowind. Hey, I've been jumped, but the guy was hot. I will try and find this man, if only for the sake of love. Thank you. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he might be found in Pelagate. Or, yeah, Pelagate, that's the one. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me. As a token of my love, I'm certain he'll want to find me again. Maury's left glove has been added to your inventory. Uh, cheers, Maury. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Uh, we should save... Because I've got new save game, Josh, Vid, and Josh. Let's new save game as Lust T. And what is the... What is quick save? I very much... That's a key I need to know right now. Quick save is F5. Fantastic. We are going to be mashing that quick save button. Believe me. First he robbed her jewels, then he robbed her heart. Is there a nobler quest than helping a random lady get laid? No, there isn't. This is pure, pure innocent. And the quest is being completed while walking like this. Brilliant. Yeah, the most used key of this game is going to be quick save straight away. If you are just joining us, I am playing Morrowind. We have created our own custom class. I am Lus T, the Argonian Maid. And we will be making pretty much all of our decisions based on what we believe Lust T would do in any given situation. For she is a lady of virtue and honor, but also of the knight and of whips and of chains. 
believe me, if there were a whip weapon in the game, I would use it. Instead, I will be using the spear. Any mods installed? Graphically. That's all we're going graphically. We've not changed the combat. We've not changed any of the actual gameplay. I have got the code patch, which fixes some bugs and some crashes with quests. And I've got the graphics extender, which means the game is widescreen. The water graphics is a bit nicer. And we can see further into the distance. That's pretty much it. This is vanilla Morrowind with some graphic mods added to it. This is not open Morrowind. This is the Goggle Steam version. This is the Steam version, although I do not believe there is a major difference between Gog and Steam. We have also got the Breathe Underwater skill because we've got water breathing just there, so I can cast that on myself, can't I? So R readies up a spell. We can jump into the water and we can cast water breathing. I want to press F5 just a quick save a lot. But if we swim underwater, because I am an Argonian, you'll notice we have a uh, water breath thing going on there, but we cast a spell and we get water breathing. There is, however, what are we being attacked by? There is a fish. Let's leave. We Right now, we are not leveled for a fish. That is dangerous as hell. Okay, right now, the water is deadly because of deadly fish. Hang on, come back here. Come back. I just want to talk. I just want to talk, you little... No, come here. Come here. This is the way Morrowind was meant to be played. This is the way Todd Howard imagined it being played. What's more important? Spam clicking? Or charging and clicking? Okay, we're nearly done this. When I said that Morrowind's combat was crusty, this is kind of what I meant. We are losing this fight. Badly. Okay, this, this fight has not gone well. It's okay, don't worry, we've got that ring of healing. Beautiful. It did not do anywhere near enough. I, I forgot about the miss chance. Yeah. Also, I am not skilled in short blade. My short blade is five, and to put that into perspective, my spear is 40, so I should probably go with a spear instead. But we are going to keep... Every time I cast the spell, the sound effect is also quite loud for you guys. I'm not going to change it. Uh, the item doesn't have enough charge. Right, we have actually managed to run out the basic ring of charge while fighting a fish. Where? Remember that your accuracy is also heavily dependent on your remaining... Yes! Yes! Your short blade skill increased to six. Scales. Boom! Now we really are a scaly. Don't. Don't read too deeply into that. You don't need to. Okay, we have stabbed a fish to death. Welcome to the rest of the game. Now we just need to get to Balmora. Which way is Balmora? It's that way. I'm 90% sure that... Yeah, we've gone the wrong way. I knew this. I knew this. Third person swimming. Hey, <laughs> look. If third person swimming is the biggest complaint you've got about this stream so far, just wait. We've got a lot of game to go. There is... There is a lot of Morrowind remaining. This also doesn't seem like the right way. This seems like the right way. This way. I'm I'm pretty sure we should be going this way and around. Yeah, there we go. I see where we're going now. This is what take the left way. It's it's not south, it's the left way. There's a rat there, however. Wait, this could be a problem. This is actually how the majority of the game is going... I have to move backwards to get the stab to be a thing. But I ha If I don't move backwards, it just does the overhead slash. Okay, my unarmored skill has increased, so whoever told me to take unarmored, you were right. If I don't move backward or forward while charging up, maybe we should just... We... 
Okay, one more good hit. We're good. Problem is we're out of stamina now. And combat on no stamina is really hard. I need to run away. Do we know anything? Lovers... Lovers kiss. Paralyze the target for 60 seconds. Okay. Not my proudest moment. But we need to paralyze the rat. And then we need to run away. Don't loll at me in the chat. I am using the skills and the abilities that the game has given me to play the game the correct way. I will accept no lols. This is not a... Balmora, this way. This is not a game about laughing. This is a very serious RPG created by the one and only immortal Todd Howard. He had the good, de good dignity, good decency and grace to only release this like 30 times, as opposed to Skyrim, which I believe is still being released somewhere. This was our first encounter. No, the rat wasn't our first encounter. We killed a fish. Don't... Don't make me sound like I'm underleveled, all right? I'm pretty sure I slapped a fish around quite well. We could always join the Legion. Maybe that's what we do, first of all. First thing we do is just join the Imperial Legion. Are you playing with mods or just vanilla? Vanilla game, but modded graphics. Like the sun over the ridges and the fact that we can play in widescreen at all. Caldera, Balmora, this way. Yeah, I'm playing with modded graphics. Uh, apart from the actual the mechanics of the game, exactly the same. I'm using the code patch. The code patch pretty much just covers some bugs and crashes, and I think makes the inventory screen slightly easier to manage, but I've not changed mechanically how the game works. Any healing items on you? Yeah, the ring that we immediately just used all of on the rat. I had to use the use the magical healing ring to heal myself. I'm pretty sure we've lost the rat. Yeah, the rat's not there anymore. That's good. How do you get your stamina back? Do you have to wait? Okay, so resting here is illegal. Need to find a bed. I wonder if Caius would let me sleep in his bed. I bet he would. I bet he's that kind of guy. Wait until he encounters the cliff racers. I have not mod- Oh my god! Look at the way they're walking! Same! Same Z's brother? Yeah, solidarity. Okay, so. Magic away. Let's go and find Caius. I am a bit of a nerd. So I may or may not already know where Caius is in Balmora. Because you're meant to go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask where to find him. Or you can just go and find his house. Which I think is back this way. Might be this way. I don't know. It's, it's one of these ways. I have a feeling it's that building just there. But I might be wrong. Let me double check. Is this Caius's? Yes! There he is. The daddy. What? Yes, I'm Caius Cassades. What do you mean? You were told to report to Caius Cassades? What are you talking about? So you say your name is Lust T, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll let me look at it. Yes, I will. Yes, very interesting. So it says here, the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the Blades. That means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Lust T? I think we're ready to follow his orders. Good. Welcome to the service, Lust T. Now, you belong to the Blades. Ooh, ownership kink. Fantastic. We don't kink shame in this game. We're the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest. There will be no resting, Caius. But I appreciate the offer. But leave my personal stuff alone, unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Orders. First thing, Pilgrim. You're new. And you look it. There's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon, or armor, or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild, or the Mages Guild, or the Imperial Cult, or the Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own. Look for freelance work, or trouble. 
Then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Your journal has been updated. 200 gold was managed your inventory. So the cool thing about Morrowind is, unlike Skyrim and Oblivion, Maybe. in order for the actual main story to even start, you need to have progressed in one of the side quests. And I'm going to spoil it because the game is like 20 years old. The final mission of the Fighters Guild is to kill the head of the Mages Guild. And the final mission of the Mages Guild is to kill the head of the Fighters Guild. So you actually can't advance in both of them to the very top. If you go into one of the great houses in Vivek, the final mission of each of the houses is to kind of assassinate the other houses. So you have to choose which house you're going through. And if you progress through the Imperial Legion, you will have quests that require you to do stuff which hobble your progress through the Imperials and the else. And the Thieves Guild, just that kills loads of stuff. If you want to go into the Thieves' Guild, you very much have to kill it. It might be the Thieves' Guild killing the Fighters' Guild head. That might be what I'm thinking of there. But yeah, I'm 90% sure that you have to do that. I've never tried the game. I'm sorry, it's only like 22 years old. It's, it's a very murder-heavy game, that is true. Right now, we are going to be role-playing as Lust T, the Argonian maid. We're going to go to sleep in Caius' bed. Because when you sleep, you get your health back, or sleep until healed. Now, quick point, I do have the Tribunal and Blood Moon expansion packs installed, which means when I sleep, there is a chance that I will be attacked by one of the Dark Brotherhood assassins, because that is a triggered event when you sleep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fight them off yet. So we might need to... Uh... Also, Caius, I never noticed this. Why is there a lamp and a spoon? Caius, as a friend, mate, as a friend, we can get you some help. Don't whistle at me when I'm talking about serious things, Caius. It's like you're not even taking it seriously. I mean, don't get me wrong. You are shredded. You are absolutely ripped. You have been eating your shreddy breck. That is very obvious, but dude, that is not good for your health. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and spend your money. Just whistled lusty emergency spoon. Hey, how he wants to live his life is up to him. Right, uh, I'm going to be playing this for a while today, but that does mean that we will need to take frequent breaks to walk around, grab some water, and grab a bathroom break. So, ladies and gents, let's take let's take five minutes. Grab yourself a bite to eat. Grab yourself a drink. I will quick save the game. Oh, I've also My got weather effects. Precious, so make it quick. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. I've also got weather effects on. So, I will see you beautiful people in about, let's say, eight minutes, just to make it a really awkward amount of time. Eight minutes... I'll see you then.
You guys ready for more Lust Tea, the Argonian made? I cannot believe we did that. I literally cannot believe we did that. Obishai, 1.9 thousand viewers and 20 people chatting. Look, the thing is, when you've, uh, this, this is the kind of entertainment that you just watch. You just kind of watch this. A UA shark, four minutes early, you only lasted four minutes. Look, I don't need to hear that again in my life. I've heard that enough. I am a Josh watcher. You don't need to talk, it's okay. If you want to lurk, I've always had this thing about calling out lurkers. You don't need to. That was also a really cool weather effect. I'm glad I downloaded the weather effect things. If you want to lurk in this stream, just hang out in the back and not chat, absolutely fine. You've got, you know, you don't need to. You need to chat, that's totally okay. You guys want to lurk, you lurk. I'm not gonna call anybody out. You wanna have a conversation with me? We're gonna have a conversation. When I see you playing this, I have the urge to buy the game and try it, even though I'm just a zoomer. Okay, so Morrowind is crusty. That's the best way I would describe it. It is crusty. It is deep. It is deep as heck. It is you can create a potion which makes you better at making potions, so you drink it and then you make another potion which is better than the potion you previously made, which makes you even better at making potions, and then you drink that, which makes you even better, so you make a better potion, and then you can make a potion that gives you pretty much max stats, because you stacked just repeatedly making potions that make you better at making potions. It is an alchemy loop, and it is... oh god, Morrowind is... the, the magic system in it is broken. It's really silly the way that you can do it. But when you when you look into it, the way I would describe it is Skyrim is a really good action adventure game and Morrowind is a really good RPG and Oblivion is a kind of middle ground between both of them. Oblivion has got enough action that you can enjoy it and enough RPG that it feels like you've got some control over it. Skyrim does not have enough RPG right. features that I could really sink my teeth into it and Morrowind does not have enough action combat features that you can really sink your teeth into it either. That is one of the things that I think you'll find about it. Skyrim is very much dumbed down Morrowind, but is more fun on a moment-to-moment -moment level. Whereas Morrowind has got... You like to walk a fine line, don't you? Hey, how's it going? Hello, friend. I'm Hedvild. Welcome to Balmora. If you have a question, I'm happy to answer it. Or try, anyway. And if it's just a little advice you'd like, that's fine too. Yeah, yeah, give me a little advice. You look like you might faint wearing, not faint wearing heavy armor. You might want to check out the Legion garrison at Fort Moonmoth. They like them big over there. And maybe they're looking for recruits. Good benefits, chance for adventure, get a piece of land at retirement, maybe even end up a knight. Okay, so the Legion are looking for big things, and, uh, all right, cool. Get some benefits. Maybe, maybe a Legionnaire with benefits? I think you've sold me. Goodbye. Shall we, do we join the Mages Guild, the Fighters Guild, or the Imperial Legion? Nobody joins the Imperial Cult. Let's not bother about that at all. I'm thinking we do quests with benefits, but you can join all of them. We can join the Fighters Guild, the Mages Guild, or we can go shopping. The Thieves Guild. We could join the Thieves Guild, but I don't think you can join them yet. I think you have to find different ways to do that. Hey, how's it going? This is the Mages Guild. I do well. This is the Fighters Guild. This is some Fighters Guild stuff. Legion time. Lusty and the Legion. That does sound like a... like a band. Like a 1960s band. You can join right away if you know where they are. Used to enchant all my gear with jump and jump over towns. You can do that. Uh, in my opinion, just do whatever fits your current skills. Oh no, we're not metagaming this. We are making every single choice based on what Lusty the Argonian made would do. So, Fort Moonmoth is this way. We're going to go to Fort Moonmoth, and we are going to join the Legion. That's what we're going to do. Morrowind was my first PC game. You couldn't be the giant tiger type. You can join one of the three great houses. I could do that. But I actually don't ever think that I've played through the Imperial Legion storyline. I don't know if I have. This might be a new thing for me as well. I might be about to experience a brand new storyline all to myself. Let's see what happens. If we can find... I'm on a quick save often, by the way. Let's go and try and join the Legion. 
go Mage's Guild, learn loads of illusion spells and get losty with it. We will need to go to the Mage's Guild to learn the Mark and Recall, because, important point if you've not played this game before, there are no kind of quick teleports to places. Mage's Guilds can teleport you around to other guilds, but what you'll actually need to learn is two spells, Mark and Recall. Mark marks the point you're on, Recall sends you back to it. So you can't just get like quick teleport to this place, quick teleport to that place. You've got Silt Striders, but there's no easy way to do it. Hey, how's it going? I've, uh, I've been told they need to come and join you, Guard Captain. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. We belong. We have garrisons at Fort Pelagade, in Pelagade, Hawkmoth, and Ebonheart. Do you wish to join the Imperial Legion? Yes. Yes, I do. The fabled Josh stream. I've found you live at last. I've decided that we're going to have a schedule. We're going to stream Saturdays at 7. These are UK times. Saturdays at 7 and Sundays at 4. And if you can't remember that, there's a little rhyme I created to help you remember it. The rhyme goes like this. Saturdays at 7, Sundays at 4. There you go. Just remember the line. Remember the rhyme, and you will know the time. Ironically, the, the reminder of the rhyme rhymes, but the rhyme does, doesn't. All the garrisons are presently at full strength, except perhaps the Death's Head Legion at Fort Darius in the West Gash, near the village of Nisus, if you're interested. You'll have to talk to General Darius there. Okay, so you're completely full, apart from deep in the West Gash. That's a British slang word that means something different, but okay. Maybe we could head Speak over it. I mean, how far away is that? Like, that can't be that far, can it? It's not even on the map. Like, I don't even know where it would be. Where is it? If I talk to you, would you... Could you tell me where that is? Join the Imperial Legion. Near the village of Nisus. I don't even know where Nisus is. Time to get the physical map out. I could do that, but I think the physical map is somewhere else. Okay, cool. So we can't join the Legion yet because we're not close enough to the West Gash. But when we get there, we will remember the Legion leaders. We can join the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. And ideally, I do need to find somewhere that sells spears because I'm good with spears and bad with everything else it's down south it's down south if it actually is down south that would be very funny mages guild good for teleporting yep that could be good let's return to the mages guild then this is as fast as I can go by the way this is running the game you do get faster at running as you run more just bear with me for like a few weeks. I will be playing Morrowind every Sunday until we have finished Morrowind. So if you're here at the start, great. You guys have weeks of content ahead of you. Imagine someone joining like four or five weeks from now being like, why are you role-playing as a lusty Argonia maid with a spear? They wouldn't get it. They wouldn't understand. They weren't here when we st It's going to be a long year. How many hours at a time? As long as I can last. So... Uh, good 90 seconds, but no, as long as we can go for. Straight up as long as we can go. That is a pawnbroker. He sells basic things. I'm going to join the Fighters Guild and see if I can find a, a... That's an outfitter. Where's the weapon shop? I need to... You need to look at the... The flags which tell you what the shop sells, but it's windy, so they're being blown around everywhere. Armorer. Bookseller. Would an armorer sell one? Because they've got swords on their thing. Maybe an armorer would sell it. Argonians can't wear boots. Don't need to. The boots don't need to ever, ever come Hurry off. This up, will you? Greetings, citizen. I'm Meldor. This town is Balmora, council seat of House Hlalu. We're loyal citizens of the Empire and proud of it. Well, most of us anyway. So... You looking for someone in particular? You looking for services? Is there some specific place you'd like to visit? Yeah, actually, I am looking for someone. I'm looking for a bandit. None of the House Lalu councillors live in Balmora. Yeah, I'm not bothered about that. Um, maybe the bandit? We can't find him. But what do you sell? Let's have a look. Barter. What do you sell? Let's have a look at your weapons. You only sell a steel battle axe. Now, my stuff is here. 
we'll put his stuff down here now remember in this game sellers have gold limits that you can't necessarily go past so that's that's medium armor bone mold boots we can't wear those though can we that's a problem we cannot wear those we are being raided by a party of seven thank you very much welcome to the stream everyone who has raided from vanny's chat how you guys doing hopefully you're in the mood for some classic morrowind because that's what we're going with hello vanny how was your stream what were you up to you can wait 24 hours to get their money back yes they do we will be doing that trick in the sewers when we finally get to mournhold that will be happening i just need a spear so the bone mold cuirass armor rating 21 i currently have armor rating of basically nothing so first things first i need a spear until i find somewhere that sells a spear there's no point getting armor at all just need a spear if you're going to the west gash better stock up on some meat hey i think you're trying to make a rude joke i think you're trying to be rude there how dare you Okay, bookseller, bookseller. Fighters Guild probably sell weapons. I'm actually having to manually move over where all the weapons could, might, possibly be. Let's join the Fighters Guild. That seems like a good idea to do. Made some lemon waffles in the Final Fantasy cookbook. I've read that book. It's uh, it's pretty decent. I've never had a chance to actually make anything from it, but good choice. Nice to meet you, big fan. Well, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. We are going to be playing some classic RPGs every single Sunday. Saturday is a book stream. Sunday is a, a chilled so out old RPG stream. Hey, can I join the Fighters Guild? This is the Fighters Guild. Uh... Idis Fire Eye is the steward. Talk to her if you're thinking of joining. Idis Fire Eye. Where are you? Idis Fire Eye. Where be ye? We have to ask her if we can join. And she'll probably say yes. That's Go not ahead, you. What? It's not you either. You've all got dumb names. I think she's at the top, isn't she? She's upstairs somewhere. He is really scared of starting Baldur's Gate 3, isn't he? I'm not scared of it. I just want to play it in a way that I can enjoy it, and I guarantee that playing on stream will ruin it for me. I've played Morrowind before, and I know that I can be silly with this, but when I play Baldur's Gate 3, Don't I'm going to be reading it every line. I'm going to be getting honor. into it. Here she is. Well, speak up, Argonian. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? You look like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to look at the Fighters Guild Charter. Are you ready to sign up now? Look. I'm going to look at that charter the same way I look at every other charter. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and click Agree. You are now Lusty, the associate in the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Seek me out if you feel you're ready for advancement. Okay, cool. Tell me about advancement. Do I have any orders? I have a very simple contract to end an infestation of cave rats. You might be able to handle it. Go to Dryani Thelus's house. It's here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment from Draini Thelus. Report back here when you're taking care of the rats. Okay, cool. We can do that. I can handle some rats. Not a problem at all. Goodbye. I need a spear. Do you sell things? Barter. Ah, weapons. I want any of these spears steel staff it's a blunt weapon why did i choose the one weapon type at ah, iron halberd spear two-handed thrust five to twenty value 40 your gold okay that's decent we could buy that i'm gonna buy that for 40 gold that i think is good yeah cool uh what else do i want do you want this maybe i could offer you this spoon I don't buy that item. Well, fine. All right, but you... You are going to be... You're going to be missing that spoon. Okay, what about apparel? You guys sell some... Uh, medium armor? Light? Heavy? You only do light and heavy armor. I'll go and get some bone armor. That's fine. Magic stuff? We've got basics and miscellaneous. Armors, hammers are very important. We will need those because my spear will break repair prongs possibly journeyman's armor's hammer we're not good enough to use yet they are missing out on a high quality spoon they really are they really are. you don't get to spoon with me if you don't have that but i believe that is entirely your your fault let's just offer that 
Cool. Done and done. This means we should now be able to, to equip the Iron Halberd. We should yes, be able to zoom in. And we've got it. All right, cool. We are ready to kill some rats. I'm going to... This is overkill. This is very much overkill for these rats. If you've not been in the stream before and you're thinking, why is he making terrible, terrible puns? That's the stream. That's pretty much all of it. I remember Morrowind such a classic. Do you remember it being a classic, though? Or did you finish it and then you thought it was good and then you went back and played it years later and realized it's not great? It's varied, but, oh, my goodness, there are... There are flaws, don't get me wrong. Right, barter. I need some apparel. Now, remember that in Skyrim, you can't be super specific with what you wear. But in this game, you can have a different left pauldron to a right pauldron, a different left glove to a right glove, a different left bracer to a right bracer, a different left upper leg to right upper leg. These are, like, super specific. The amount of stuff that you can equip is... It's so specific. But I'm going to need to go with a bone mold cuirass. Just one of them, ideally. Uh, we don't need three. That seems silly. Just purchase one. Uh, what? What? The value is 350 and you want me to spend 389 I've only got 147 That's ridiculous. Stupid. I hate it here. Right. What can I get that's not ridiculously overpriced? A pauldron. A, a singular left pauldron. That's all I could get. Native bone mold helmet. Can I even wear a helmet? Don't talk with weapon drawn. Hang on. Is that... I forgot that's a thing. This better be important. My bad. Yeah, I forgot that when you, um, when you have your weapon drawn and you try and talk to people, it's slightly more expensive when they try and sell it to you. Right. Okay, so I can't wear all helmets. Does it tell me what I can and cannot wear? Because the bone mold helm is medium. Can I wear that? I am currently unarmored, but I'm also good with medium armor. Bone mold greaves, value 220. I, I can get a single pauldron, left pauldron. They want 131 for it. I'll buy it. Offer. Good. Okay, you guys ready to see my, my armored character? Here we go. basically protected absolutely fine as long as the rat attacks that exact shoulder that's actually the shoulder that i'm always being hit in so this is really really convenient this is the drip i'm gonna quick save this because the chance of me dying to that rat is actually remarkably high no one's that left shoulder is absolutely fine that is protected all right we've got a spear going on here all right, these rats, these vermin, they're about to feel the wrath of lust tea. Where am I going? Um, hang on. <laughs> I just I told me to talk to Draini Thelas about some hats. Her house is in Balmora on the east side near the river. That's all you get. East side near the river. She's somewhere on this side. Is it this one? Yes. Amazingly, it was. Fantastic. One thing you will learn repeatedly about Morrowind is it does not care about giving you pretty much any advice. It's like, good luck. It's probably over there. Have fun. Oh but you know what? Was he I liked that. Hey, how's it going? Are you the one they sent to take care? I will be doing voices for every character, and they will be the same voice, just so you know. Unless some of them will be Batman for some reason. Are you the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you, Lusty? How does she know? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these rats. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Your journal has been updated. Storage key has been added. Fantastic. Okay, so... Make it quick, Outlander. You're very much getting the, the vibe of Morrowind right now. It's like a super serious RPG that just isn't serious. There's someone watching me. Okay, you guys ready? Ready for combat? Here we go. Ah! <sighs> 
Okay, that went way faster than I thought it would. Remember, every single time you attack something in Morrowind, there is a random chance that you will miss, and that chance goes up if your stamina is low. So this is it. If I don't move, I hack. If I move forward and attack, I stab. And if I move sideways, I slash. Why do you have so many pillows? No. No, I'm stuck on the floor. No one needs that many pillows. Okay, also, your house is built weirdly, because to go upstairs, you have to go outside. Like, just... We need to get the builders in, but... Why are there more pillows? They're down here! One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. There's one there you can see. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. You have fourteen pillows. That is way too many pillows. But, you know what? You live your best life. I'm not going to pillow shame. In order to get to your upstairs bit, we have to go, like, around the back or something? Is it this way? This way seems like a little... I mean, it's raining. Imagine having to go outside to get upstairs when it's raining and everything. Don't forget to check the barrels. I'll check the barrels. Oh, oh God. Combat is very RPG and crusty. What's in this crate? Oh, gold! Sweet, I'll have that. That's mine now. I don't care about any of those things. What's in this crate? Nope, this crate. Gold, thank you. Take that. Basket of pillows. 25 pillows! 25... There are 75 pillows in these baskets. Plus the 14 downstairs, that goes to 89 pillows. 90! What's in these sacks? Thankfully nothing. There are 90 pillows in this person's house. What is she doing with them? Why are there so many chairs? Why do you have a room full of pillows? You know what? Hey, you, you live your best life. Maybe I'm the one that... What's in here? Thankfully, not a pillow. Maybe I'm the one that should have some more pillows. Every village needs a pillow smith. She knows what she likes. There's another basket of pillows. Quickly, Outlander, or go away. 25 more. That's 115 pillows are in this house. That is too many pillows. It's good of you to stop by, Lusty. Sorry, I forgot she was Batman. It's always happy to see you. Were you looking for a little advice, or... No, I've killed all of your rats. So, like, cave rat. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Take these hundred septims. It's what I agreed to pay the Fighters Guild. Ah, uh, thanks. You're, you're very trusting. I didn't touch your pillows. Brilliant. She is literally the pillow princess. That is the drip that I want. Speak, traveler. At the minute, I currently only have the shoulder pad to kind of go with it, but one day. One day that will be me. You're all laughing, but the lady has monopolized pillows, without a doubt. She, maybe she works for the Thieves Guild. Maybe they're going for that kind of smothering attempt. That's what it is. They're just about smothering people. I'm gonna let the Fighters Guild lady know that I have so far completed exactly one mission. Morrowind, what a classic, brings back so... Do the dungeon quest with the 11 times health. I guarantee that is a thing. I will find out what it is in a second. You're here for orders. Uh, I've killed the gay rats. Killed the rats, Lusty. Not bad. For you. You ready for more orders? A local egg mine has problems with egg poachers. And you're going to solve these problems. Yes, egg poachers. They sound silly, but those Kwama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Dram Barrow, the owner of Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers, Savillo Othan and Danila Vallas, are former egg miners and longtime local troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when the poachers are dead. The mine is a short distance southwest of Balmora, in the bluffs west of the Odai River. The old suspension bridge across the Odai is just southeast of the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Balmora until you see the bridge overhead. You're not afraid of a little swim, 
Are you? Why does her shield look like that? I can't help you. Get healed elsewhere. You are filthy. Your mind is is that just no. How dare you? How dare you be that in this Christian Minecraft stream? I will not accept any of that. I won't accept any adult jokes in the stream of Lust T, the Argonian maid who only uses spears because she's good with shafts. Get it together. I'm going to buy another shoulder pad with my earnings. That's what I'm going to do. Barter. Right, so we've already got a bone mold left pauldron. Let's see if I can get a bone mold right pauldron. So that's 120. But is there a... Oh, hang on. Amun, armor rating 20. Armor rating 20. Weight 8. That's weight 8. They're exactly the same. Maybe we should go with a, a different one. That's left. Let's go with right for this one. Your gold, 123. Let's put the iron dagger in. Okay, they don't want to change much for that. What about the spoon? You don't want that. Soul jam? You don't want that either. Um, common shoes? You don't want that either. Let's see if we can uh, just negotiate this down to one, two, three. Because you can try to negotiate the total that you're putting in kind of down. Let's see if we can offer that. You cannot afford this transit. Oh, hang on now. One, two, three. They accepted it. Fantastic. Cool. And if you offer lower you. and you succeed, then your speechcraft and your mercantile skill goes up, which is great. Some friends of mine named their band Balmora, and I can't look at this town the same way. What a beautiful thing to have happened. Jeremy Sewell is really playing the same tune every time. I think Jeremy Sewell has like one hour of music that just gets chopped up and reused repeatedly. Um, those are your own scales in your inventory. Let's have a look. Hang on, let's just see where we're going with this. Let's put the other pauldron on now. The beautiful. We are perfect. I will accept absolutely no complaints. We look fantastic. This is what the hero... That's how the hero walks. Here we go. Quick save. Right, let's go south from Balmora. South is down. Everyone knows that. It is south, isn't it? Hang on. Yes, the Odai is just southeast the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Balmora until I see the bridge overhead. And that is... World? Yeah, just go down. We'll get there. Hey, Josh, can you please play Repels? It's on the list. Where did our ass go? Hey. That boote is there. All right, that is a well-trained ass. That tail is not even attached the way you think. Okay, we have been doing some serious training to get a buttocks like that. You put your weapon away and you actually manage to move a bit faster. I have access to my account. Someone copied all... Oh, that's bad. That sucks. Sorry about that scare. Let's go and kill some poachers. There's the bridge. See? There's the bridge over there we need to get to. The old suspension bridge. Have I seen the peak play account of Palworld? 1.3 million. Yes, that is exactly what made me want to play Morrowind. Because I thought, if I were a good, a competent, focused, smart streamer, I would, without a doubt, play Palworld. But uh, I'm, I'm a crusty millennial. Oh god, we've been... Oh no, I totally forgot these guys paralyze you. This is, this is genuinely a problem. Ooh, okay. We've lost half our health from one attack from a scrib. So that was not great. That was not great. We nearly died. Comberry. We can harvest a berry. Lovely stuff. It's just F5. Let's just wait until healed. Your rest has been interrupted by another scrib. All right, we took you down. Not a problem at all. What is that? What is that? Is that the mine? Is that? That can't be the mine. The mine has to be over here. Did you try the new Daggerfall remaster? The Unity one? Yes, I've got it downloaded. I do want to do a review of Daggerfall at some point because I've never actually played it and I want to play the Unity version because people keep telling me that it's as good as the... as the original. Scrib Jelly. You know you can eat things. Eat Scrib Jelly. Okay, we have learned something. 
If I had scrib jelly on me, I would now know what it does. But when you eat things, you learn what they do. You cannot... Beast racers cannot wear shoes. Okay, cool. Can't, can't, can't wear shoes. Can't wear the shoes. I don't get it. Why would everyone stream Power World? Want to watch it? There are already enough streamers. That's true. There are already people streaming Power World. There's probably not that many people streaming Morrowind. That is... If anything, I'm... I'm really smart. When a game comes out, I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stream this game 22 years from now. And that way, all of the the older millennials will think, oh good, Josh gets it. Josh understands. Let's put my weapon away and see if these guys are friendly. They might be friendly, you never know. Hey, how's it going? I'm a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm getting some fresh air. That's not a stereotype. That's just how he sounds. So what do you want? I'm a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm just out here taking a break. All right, you guys have fun. You enjoy it. I'm just going to pop in the mine and maybe, you know, find find some of your friends and possibly kill them. Who knows? Why is he a pirate? You don't know what he did in a previous life. You have no idea. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, I'm going to quick save a lot because I might die. Now, you don't want to kill the Kwama workers, because these guys are just pretty chill. They're like big dogs. Just leave them alone. You don't even want to touch the egg sacs. You just let them hang out. Let them do their own thing. You don't need to. Just let them chill. Let them chill. These guys, however, take them straight down. You know, you don't want Scribs alive. Scribs will paralyze you. Not good. Not good at all. We take them out. But what we do want to do, and these little things, these little, as someone said earlier, why is the blunt attacking me? Now, I want to be stabbing, not slashing, which means I have to move either forward or backward every time I attack. One thing you also might notice is the local map is not great here. Uh, that's the mining camp. Maybe this is good. Okay, Scribs are non-aggressive, but you have to kill them. You can turn on an option for the strongest attack. Can I? Where's that? Is that in the options menu? Is it within the... Interesting. Always use best attack. On. Well, aren't we getting good at the game? Aren't I smart now? Which means even if I move... Oh, I'll still stab it. You absolute beauty. Thank you very much. That is legitimately fantastic. I appreciate that. Actual good advice. And I followed it. Not like me, but I did. Right. So we need to find the the guys that are trying to steal the eggs. Are you are you one of them? Are you stealing an egg? Hey, how's it going? You a, you an egg stealer? You're in an egg mine, Outlander. So be careful. Kwama foragers and warriors won't attack miners since they're used to our smell, but they will attack intruders, and you smell like an intruder. What about the egg poachers? Several of Othan and Danila Valas used to work here. Not good people. Could be hiding anywhere in the mines. What about a little secret? Kwama foragers and warriors won't attack us. Don't worry. The Queen squirts out foragers and warriors like seeds. If the foragers and warriors bother you, kill them. Or run past. Whichever's easier. But do us a favor. Don't kill the workers. They won't bother you. Okay, so... What's this, then? You can actually choose if you want to to kill the Queen. But they don't appreciate it if you do that, because you then pretty much put them out of a job. So, don't be... Don't be killing the Queen for them. Uh, you're another miner. Don't press your luck. You're a little chill you're scrib. Your not going to attack you because you're not attacking me. We understand each other. There is a, there is a moment between us. Where are these poachers? If any of you are thinking this quest design seems weird, this is just how Morrowind is. Okay, this is just how you're going to have to get used to it, because this is the game. As we attack these little tiny slugs. What do I think about film noise? How so? Are we talking about the... Is there a film called that? Or are we... Because to me, noise means uh, random visual or audio interference that you use to cover up the lack of nothingness. Morrowind fans are always happy to give people advice. Yes. Yes, they are. And I will take it, and I will do the best I can with it. 
Josh, is Strife part of your legal name? Uh, it's not. I just really like Final Fantasy VII. That's that's pretty much it. Um, there's there's no real cooler story than that. I just really like FF7. I thought that'd be really cool. Oh, this is to the Queen's Lair. Oh, hang on. People are running at me. This doesn't seem good. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Now we're in fights. Combat is much uh, more fun when you can hit the enemy. This is the end of you, sweat. Oh god, their health is way higher than I expected. This is the end of you, sweat. I might need to kiss one of them. There is no escape. Hang on. Hang on. Lover's kiss. You <laughs> ah, I did not look at it. Okay, cool. That that completely didn't work and now I'm dying. I'm gonna run this way. Hopefully they won't follow me. They're not that smart. They can't use doors. You guys gonna follow me? Fools! Absolute idiots. You Enwa. Right, let's uh let's just wait until healed. There is no escape. No oh, no! They're still here! Oh no, it's him! Oh god, no, this is way worse. Hang on. Hang on, no, we might we might be okay here. Because spears have longer range, and I can take his armor. This is actually the expansion pack. This is the tribunal expansion pack, because that, I want to say, is the... See, the Dark Brotherhood or the Morag Tong, and you get attacked when you try and rest. And you keep getting attacked until... Oh, that was so close. I'm so close to dying. Your journal has been updated. An attempt was made on my life as I tried to rest. I do not know who wishes me dead, but the attack should probably be reported to a guard. But check this out, okay? We've been attacked because that's the whole expansion pack from the start thing, but you can immediately take all of their armor and it's decent. So we just take everything, they're now naked, and we can now put on some better armor. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Can't wear the boots. Not a problem. What about the Dark Brotherhood cuirass? Armor rating 5, but it is light armor, which is a shame. But it's still decent, so we grab this. Alright, cool. Way better. What about Greaves? Armor rating 5. Yep, that's decent. I'm basically a ninja. Helm? You can't wear helmet. Beast racers cannot wear helmets, which is a shame. Left gauntlet. Right gauntlet. Remember in this game, it's such an RPG, you can have different gauntlets on. Left pauldron. No, no. No, we're keeping the uh, the portal we've got on. You know what there isn't that there really should be? is There should be a button that shows a comparison with your currently equipped pauldron. It's annoying that doesn't happen. My goodness, Striker, thank you very much for all the subs. That is remarkably kind of you. You have gifted many subs out. Hopefully you are enjoying the Morrowind experience. They were originally supposed to attack Uran level 5 on the console version, but Bethesda just bethesda -ed. Yeah, that's what they do. This was a 2002 game. Yep, this is 22 years old. I'm sorry, but that is true. Is there a mod for that? There really should be, because that's one thing I would actually appreciate. So I don't need to put the pauldrons on, because I'm not using those yet. I think that's pretty much everything else. The silver dagger, and don't they drop a decent weapon? I'm sure they do somewhere. Now, can I see... I can't see at a glance how much... Uh, condition. That's 621 out of 7. That's fine. My condition on most of these things is fine. I should be totally okay with that. That was very kind to give to sub. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can get back in and uh, if I rest until healed. Alright, cool. Way better. Now we just quick save. I'm going to quick save all the time, by the way. Let's use my lover's kiss ability to stun one of them. You guys ready? You've already used that power today. Okay, cool. So I can only kiss one Yo. person per day. This is a very prude game. I can, however, stab many people. Let's just focus on killing one of you. Your light armor skill increased. Oh, sweet. Come on, you. Get down. Let me stab you. Oh, that was close again. All right, cool. So, you have died. Miner's pick. Uh, it's value eight. We don't really need that. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Kwama egg. I'm not a thief, so no. And you, common shirt, common shirt. Miner's pick. Don't need any of those things. Quick save. Right, we've done it. 
Not very lusty of that lover's kiss. I can't believe that you could only use the lover's kiss once per day. What if you love a lot? What if you love more than one person? What if you want to kiss the person you love twice? Morrowind says no. That's illegal. Uriel Septim would not approve. Do you want to see the uh, the queen of the of this mine? We're not going to kill them because they're not aggressive. I mean the those things are because they're super annoying. My spear increased to 42 and my health is really low, so I probably don't want to be here because I might legitimately die. Okay, so we're We'll see the Queen later. Right now, I need to run away because I'm actually potentially going to die. Game cam super dark. It is really dark in the game. Even if I go to options and then video and put the gamma correction even higher, it's as high as it can be. Basically, the game is just dark. I should probably try and increase the lightness of the game. When we go outside, you'll see it's beautiful. I can't see 90% of the gameplay. Neither can I. This is just how it looks. That's not you guys, that's just how the game looks. When we're outside, lovely and beautiful. I'll see if I can download some Make It Less Dark in Caves mod. Or we can play like this, where you can just about see the character in front of you. There is a spell for that. You can cast Light, can't you? You can cast Light. We will have to learn the Light spell and cast that some more. Okay, so these What's guys... This move... Oh, goodness, you can't get past uh, NPCs, can you? They take up physical space in the world, which means you have to actually move past them. But no, there is legitimately a light spell that you do need to cast when you go into really dark places. Alright, that Kwama worker's chill. We can leave him, and I think this was the way back. First time I played this game, those Kwama workers scared the crap out of me, and I just ran in and attacked them, and then all of the miners got really annoyed that I was killing all of their things. There are spells for everything. Okay, now we're back outside. We should quick save, and then we should rest until healed. Okay, that's better. See? That's much nicer. Now we're outside. It's all lovely. It's all fantastic. Everything's good. But remember, we can't get back to Balmora quickly because we don't yet know the quick return spell. You can see now. Love me some Morrowind. I will get a light spell. I will also learn Mark and Return, which I think... My acrobatics is now seven. Check me out. In fact, how close am I to leveling up? Level one, four out of ten. So in order to level up, you need to level up either your major skills or your minor skills at least ten times. When you level up, you can then spend points on skills. But the points you have to spend depend on how many of the skills you leveled up and their governing attribute. So what you want to do is make sure that you level up 10 miscellaneous skills to get the maximum attribute, then level up 10 either minor or major, that way you'll have the most points to spend. It's awful. It's really bad that that's how it's done. But the cool thing is, we've now got light armor that we're going to be leveling up, and we're going to be sneaking occasionally. We're using Restoration, and we will be using, I want to say Destruction, but that is minor. Basically, Morrowind can either be massively OP or really hard, based on how you level up. It's horrible. Yeah. The leveling system is also, I agree, my least favorite part of this game. And the more you jump, the more you level your athletics. And you'll notice that I'm running as well. If I slow down and walk... That's crouching. My stamina recovers, the little green bar at the bottom left, and then I go back to running and my stamina drains. You gain... I want to say athletics experience by running. That's the Silt Strider. I love the graphics of the Silt Strider. I think they are iconic. I very much like them. It's like a giant flea, pretty much. You get acrobatics for jumping. Yeah, we love... Morrowind is very much the weird giant bugs and mushrooms game, and I, I, I love it for that. I appreciate it for that. Now, the cool thing about getting the, the Dark Brotherhood or the Morag Tong attacking me is I can sell their armor, which I think is great. So let's sell their armor first of all to this dude, and then possibly buy some more medium bone armor. Barter. What don't I need? I don't need the Brotherhood helm because I can't wear it. I don't need these left pauldrons or the boots. So he's got 1,500 gold. What else can I sell to him? 
Not going to use the silver dagger either. I can sell all that to him. Let's offer that. No, you know, no. Give me... Give me 660. Let me... Let me negotiate up a little bit. Offer. Beautiful. Check me out. Art of the deal. That's what I can do. Bone armor means condom. <laughs> it does fit. Thematically, it does fit. So let's just barter for this. We need a bone cuirass. You cost 350. I do have that now. So let's just get one. That's 387. I also need some bone greaves. They are... I've got 660. That's 630. What about 620? Make an offer. Beautiful stuff. Check us out. We are going up in the world. Now I can actually sell you stuff that I, again, don't need. You can have that and that. Because I don't want medium armor. It's all... I don't want my shoes. Nobody needs my shoes. Let's sell this. Offer. Done. Is the armor you give me broken? Because it says that my armor rating is 13. Why is my armor rating armor in total 13 when my cuirass is giving me armor rating 21? Is it because my medium armor is not yet maxed out skill level so because my medium armor is 40 do you only get like 40 percent of what the armor should give is it something like that it's the average of all the equipped armor right okay cool i get it i don't get it but i'm not going to pretend you know i'm not going to let you know that i don't get it lack of helm and boots also takes that down you can't put helmets or boots on i might be able to put a hat on not a helmet, but a hat. Can you wear a hat? Can an Argonian wear a hat? I've never asked a, a, such a serious question in my entire life. That is like the most serious question I've ever asked on stream. Can an Argonian wear a hat? I need to know. Because if they can, we ne I need to buy a hat. Right, I need an outfitter. I need an outfitter right now. Outfitter. Outfitter. Outfit me. I need a hat. Let's hear it. Tell me. Show me. Barter. What you got? Apparel? Appa shoes? Shirt? Pants? You are useless. You are rubbish. Where is your hat? You're meant to be an outfitter. Why have you got a load of potions? This isn't an outfit shop. This is rubbish. This is terrible. You can sell him your shoes. Have my shoes. Thanks. Total gold, one. All right, no, how about... I'll, I'll, uh... How about two? Your offer is refused. Fine. One. Okay. I'm not happy about it either. Stupid no-hat-having outfitter. What kind of outfitter are you? Rubbish outfitter. That's what you are. Let's try this shop over here. This is just a general all-purpose wares shop. It's like a general pawnbroker, like a general trader. You got any hats? Apparel. No, 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 no. Does no one have any hats in this game? Is there... Are you just averse to headwear? One gold for two shoes. Yep. Half a gold each. That's fine. We'll let the Fighters Guild know that we have at least finished our mission. There are no hats without armor. So I kind of want like a nice little hat on top. That's a, that's a shame. I would like that. Let's see what the Fighters Guild lady has to say now that we have killed... Do you sell hats? What's your story? Barter. Apparel. Again, no. This is utterly... I am hurt and offended. Fire eye. Speak up. What's the status on those egg poachers, associate? Don't make me assign this to another person. They're dead. You got both of them. Good. Here's your payment, 100 septims, and we've got some extra potions from a recent raid. Take these. They'll come in handy. Just tell me when you're ready for more orders. 100 gold for quality restore fatigue. 
and the journal has been updated. Are we ready for more orders, or do we go and join the Mages Guild? Let's talk about orders. We have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Telvani agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. Telvani agents, you say? Four Telvani agents are responsible for thefts and disappearances at the Caldera Ebony Mines. Their names are... Okay, thanks, game. Their names are... Alnu Arlen, Satharsa, Nerothen, Fothyana Herothran, and Alveleg. I think I've just summoned a demon. That, uh... That's actually why they banned Latin, you know. People say Latin is a dead language. It's because everyone kept summoning demons by mistake when speaking Latin. So they said, lads, enough is enough. This is getting silly now. So they stopped it. Okay, those people. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera Mine. When the four agents are dead, report back to me. Take care. It's very likely that one of them is on the lookout, posted outside the mines. The quickest way to Caldera is probably to have a guild guide at the Mages Guild transport you, but it's your choice. You know what? That is actually a really nice way of tying together the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild, and we can join one by going outside and just hopping across to this bit and then popping in here. That Hurry is a beautiful up, bit of you? game design right there. Fighters Guild's like, hey, you've probably joined us first, but... Fastest way to get there? Speak to the Mages Guild. That's clever. Hey, how's it going? Step right up, Lust T, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about the flashy and cheap Taladam Scorcher to burn your foes? Or Onduce's Unhinging to open stuck chests and drawers? Yeah, I'm good. I want to join the Mages Guild, so... Uh... Uh, the Mages Guild dedicate the preservation of... Yeah, I want... I don't want to join it. Do you not... Okay, fine. I don't care about talking to you anymore. Just tell me who's in charge. Who is the Master Mage? Is it you, Rannis? Are you looking for me? You want to join the Mage's Guild? Hmm, yes. You look like the sort we could use in the Mage's Guild. Will you take the Mage's Oath and join the Guild? I will take the Oath in the same way that I took the Fighter's Oath. Scroll to the bottom and agree. You are now a member of the Mages Guild. Welcome, Associate. When you are ready, you can ask for duties to perform. And once you are ready, you can ask me about advancement within the Guild. Tell me of my duties, Master Mage. I don't have any duties for an Associate. Speak with me again when you've proven yourself. In the meantime, speak with Ajira. I believe she may have some small tasks for you. Okay, what let's talk. What is this about? You know what it's about, mate. I wanted tasks and you said no. Right, let's talk to Ajira. Let's do this. We've had some first-time chatters in the chat. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Not quite sure why two and a half thousand people across the globe thought, you know what I'm going to do with my Sunday? I'm going to watch a middle-class British guy play a 22-year-old RPG. But God bless you for doing so. What a beautiful world we live in where we can do that. Should I better myself? Should I learn a skill? Should I follow a hobby? No. I'm going to watch some British chap roleplay a character called Lust T the Argonian Maid as we spear our way through Morrowind. Oh, God bless all of you for doing this. Are we all having a good Sunday? Remember, streaming schedule, it's set. Saturday at 7, Sunday at 4, UK time. And you can remember that schedule by remembering the simple rhyme. Saturday at 7, Sunday at 4. Remember that. And, uh, yeah, you'll pretty much be be bang on where you need to be at the same... Why is the Mages Guild really nice and the Fighters Guild just smells of sweat? Like, the Mages got together and they were like, Ah, right, guys, interior decorating time. We're going to make this lovely. I want a tree in the middle, underground. Someone... And you know what? You know what? Stick a candle in the middle of it. Why not? We're not afraid of fire. We're Mages. We can make this. We can make this happen. It's beautiful. It's exactly what I expected to be. It's so much nicer than everywhere else. Okay, Ajira. Okay, so you're it's a furry. I'm I'm role playing as a scaly. Let's be friends. What brings you to Ajira's shop? Do you want duties from Ajira? Do you want local brews or help in fight? I want duties from you, Ajira. Tell me. Ajira has duties for you. Before Ajira can become a journeyman in Major's Guild, Ajira must study the local mushrooms. To finish Ajira's report, Ajira needs samples of Luminous Rusola, Violet Corpinus, Bungler's Bane, and Hyphafasia. 
Ajera knows you can find all these on the bitter coast. The easiest way is to go south along the river Odai until you see a wooden bridge across the river. Get out of the river there and find a path west over the hills. Okay, cool. So uh, we need to ask about the musk. Unfortunately, there is no way... Hang on. Telvani bug musk. It, it's actually a thing you can ask about. Ajira does not like the Telvani, but even Khajiit like the smell of bug musk. Try some and smell how all the men like you. All right, cool. Nice. We could get some bug musk going on. I don't know if that's what I need, but just in case. Okay, cool. So we've got given another quest. Ajira, bring the samples of four mushrooms. They may be found in the swamps of the Bitter Coast. I can get them by following the river Odai south of Balmora until I see a bridge. After I pass the bridge, I should look for a way over the hills to the west. Yes, right. what is it? I guess we are doing... We could use the Mage's Guild to transport us now and do the whole Caldera thing with the Fighter's Guild, but I think we're probably best served trying to find these mushrooms. So I want to progress through the Fighter's Guild and the Mage's Guild at roughly the same pace, because then we should arrive in Vivek at roughly the same time. So we are going south of Balmora until we see the bridge, past the bridge, look for a way over the hills to the west. Not to backseat, but are you aware of some of the weird ins and outs of Morrowind's combat? Not at all. Feel free to backseat. I will take in all your advice and promptly ignore it. But I will read yes. it. For the time being, I'm just playing someone wearing medium armor with a spear. That's how we're going to do it. Wish Morrowind had quests similar to what Ajira does, like some character would ask you the alchemical properties. You can get a Daedric Spear pretty early. You can. Am I drinking Monster? Yeah, the green stuff, actually. Um, what's it called? The Ultra Paradise stuff, the Zero Sugar stuff. I like the flavor. But not sponsored. Just think it's quite nice. Right, go south. This actually takes us to the same place that the mine was last time. So we keep going south. Put the pointy end in the bad guy, bad guys fall down. That's how we play this game. It's exactly what we do. And in my Huel uh, bottle, I have just got lemon cordial because I'm trying to drink more water. You know, I'm trying to be healthier. I'm trying to drink way more water. It's good for you. It's good for your skin. It's good for energy in general. But even though I can drink just normal, regular, unflavored water, I prefer it when it has some flavor. And I think that personally, lemon and lime is to me just the easiest flavor to drink. Not sponsored by lemons, but I would be. That and the Huel bottle is just the biggest bottle that I've got. The main rule is don't spam click. Hold click for at least a second. Oh yeah, we're holding click when we attack. We are holding click. Am I playing modded? I am playing vanilla Morrowind. The only mods I've got are the code patch download, which fixes a couple of the bugs and crashes, the widescreen mod, and the extended graphics mod. Apart from that, everything is pretty much vanilla. I've not changed the combat. I've not changed the shop interfaces. I've got the text mod download, which makes everything a bit easier to read. So what I've done is I've kind of improved the playability, if you will, but not really anything else. Okay, so I'm going to guess this is the wooden bridge that they were mentioning. After I pass the bridge, I should look for a way over the hills to the west. Now, west is that way. Wait, no. East is to the right, west is to the left. Yeah, west is this way. So I now need to look for a way over the hills, probably over there? Yeah, because the bridge would take us to the east. We need to go to the west. Run around, try and find the marsh. Then I've got to find four mushrooms within this marsh. It's left of Benorth. Cliff racers are a staple. I have not modded the cliff racers out. They are in the game. I got lost for two hours when I did this quest first. Well, that's just the beauty of the Morrowind experience. Also, the, the sky is lovely. And again... That, I think, is a graphical extension. Oh, this looks pretty marshy to me. And that looks like a mushroom. Beautiful stuff. That looks like a crab. Yo, you aggressive? Yes, you are. Oh, taken down in one go. Look at me. 
Morrowind is kind of a horror game. It does have horror elements, doesn't it? That's very true. It definitely has horror elements. And it is nighttime, so it's harder to see now. Luminous Rusala. That is one of the things we needed. So what else do we need? Right, Luminous Rusala. Collected. Good, gotcha. Violet Coprinus. So Violet, Bungler, and Haifa. Violet, Bungler, and Haifa. Ah, that's Haifa. So we've found you on the tree. So we now need Violet and Bungler. Violet, I'm going to assume, is bright purple. Uh, Bungler, I've got no idea about. So let's uh, wander around till we find that somewhere. Ah, Violet, right next to the other ones. Brilliant. So now all we need is Bungler. There's got to be a, a Bungler mushroom somewhere. I'm new here, but is chat usually this chill? Like most big streamers have chaotic streams, but this chat seems civil and well kept. Oh, thank you very much. The mods do a great job. The great thing is, it's one of those things where if it looks like you're doing nothing, you're actually doing a lot of stuff to make it look like you're doing nothing. And while I have a couple of mods in the chat, not that many, uh, because they're actually really decent at doing exactly what they need to do really quickly. But what I think the most important thing is, and I'm glad you've pointed this out in the chat, tell me if you agree. We're doing two things here that I think keep this chat somewhat civil. The first is, we're playing a 22-year-old RPG. It doesn't exactly appeal to the kind of high-energy, crazy, let's be silly... I don't want to use the word childish, but you, can, you know where I'm going with that vibe. You know, we're playing a 22-year-old RPG. It appeals to the much more chill people. Uh, the other thing I would say is the vast majority of this chat, you probably just have me on a second monitor listening to me, doing stuff. Yeah. I feel that my videos, because they're a lot longer, like, you know, I make half-hour in-depth reviews of stuff, kind of appeals to a more... Ooh, hello, Nick's Hound. Kind of appeals to a slightly older audience. Yeah, I think that my... my oh, God! My content appears to a slightly older audience, and that audience tends to not be too annoyed at stuff on Twitch. Everyone's just pretty chill with it. I mean, that kind of works for me. And mo most people watching this stream are probably between early to mid 20s to early to mid 40s. I would say that. Uh, that's that's to me, I think, is a fair thing. And that's not insulting. That's just where I think the audience is. I mean, hey man, I'm I'm mid 30s, so it's just where we all are now. Yeah, I think it's not that we're chill. It's that we're just tired. That's what it is. People are like, oh, you guys are really chill. No, nope. back hurts and I'm tired. That's what it is. We've all just got different levels of back pain. We all make weird different noises when we stand up. We all start thinking, is it worth arguing on the internet? And then realizing, no, probably not. Uh, I'm going to wait because right now it is 9 p.m. So I'm going to rest for like a couple of hours until the morning. Because if I do that, it's light. See, now I can see what I'm doing. There's a person over there. Let's go and say hello to them. I've got one more mushroom to find, then I cannot find it. Just turned 38 and threw my back out last week. Beautiful, beautiful times to be alive. Hey, how's it going? Uh, come on then, say Fjol. something or move on. Greetings. You should take care while in these parts. There are murderous outlaws about. No telling what might happen to an unwary traveler. Tell me more about these murderous outlaws. Oh yes, there are dangerous times. They'll rob you blind and cut your throat without giving it a second thought. It's a bad idea to carry anything of value on you. In fact, it's probably best if you give me that gold of yours. hundred septims, perhaps? I think you'll find that way less dangerous than if you uh, do. Okay, cool. So he's a very polite mugger. I appreciate that. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you money. This is too easy. <laughs> it seemed a small price to pay for your life. No matter. I'll have that gold one way or the other. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kiss him. Now this Damn it! He resisted the magic. Oh god, he's really powerful. It'll be your blood here, not I mine. I might be about to die. Death number one. Reload the quick save. Morrowind is a game 
that does not level with you as in the world is not level scaled if an enemy starts high level they remain high level if you come back when you are high level you can make easy work of them but if you pick a fight when you are the wrong level you will get wrecked so don't do that yeah morrowind is a, a dangerous dangerous game we need another mushroom but i'm gonna need you guys in chat to potentially help me with this we have found let's have a look, quick check of what we have found so far we found three of them haven't we we have found we found the hypha the luminous and the violet which means we're after bungler's bane and bungler's bane i've got no idea what it looks like or where it is i adore morrowind it is without a doubt my favorite game that was said in chat. I can understand why. If I were a bungler's bane, they are shelf-type mushrooms that stick out of trees. Thank you. This is the kind of back seating that I like. If I get stuck, I don't want to read a guide. I want to ask you guys to help me. Whether it's with your knowledge of the game, or whether you're able to remember that you've played it before and give a bit of a hand with it. That's the level of uh, community interaction that I want. It's a rat. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, taste my spear. Rat. You don't know how good I am. How dangerous I am. Try opening the sunken chest and putting on the ring. Don't remind me of all the mistakes that we made. Alright, choices were made. They were all wrong. That is Haifa. Oh, Bung Bungler's Bane was right next to it the entire time. Hang on, does that mean almost every single mushroom is basically in the same place? Bungler's Bane. Gotcha. Sweet. There's no pop-up that says, you've got all the mushrooms. You can now head back to Balmora. You just need to remember that you've done it. So we now need to go basically in a straight line from where we are now. The thing with Morrowind is it didn't make it obvious when you had or hadn't finished a quest. There was no, you've done, return. Go this way, go that way. Click here, click there. It's just, all right, follow the instructions and speak to the person at the end. And you know when you speak to the person that takes the quest, there isn't even always the chat option that says, you have finished the quest, choose this chat option. You have to choose the, the option manually on the right that is the quest. Oh, man, brutal. Without a doubt, straight up brutal. Now, I think we need to go this way and right. I'm quick saving often. My, I can't believe my kiss was resisted. It's very irritating that my kiss was resisted. It should not have been. Next time it won't be. Just like real life, there's no pop-up to tell you when you're done with something. I wish there was. I kind of wish that real life did have a UI. What the hell? Oh god, it begins. Oh. You have to aim for like the middle of their body or something. There we go. You have to aim for that bit. So, for those of you who have not played Morrowind before, this is a cliff racer. They are everywhere, and they are super annoying. Because not only are they hard to hit, they will chase you. It begins. This is one of the reasons I wanted to go with a spear, for the reach. But yeah, um... Cliff races are going to be hella annoying in this entire playthrough. And you can tell I'm a millennial because I use the phrase hella as a descriptor. Why can we not just jump up this, this mountain? Come on, I've done it in Skyrim. Just let me jump up the mountain. Damn it, game. Haha. -ha. Didn't you be able to, like, just... You can get up the mountain somehow. Also, it is windy as heck outside. It really is windy as hell. Oh god, that is a clan fear. They, I think, are stronger than I can currently deal with. Where do I need to get to? So Balmora, Balmora's over there. You're literally just over, over the hills. And annoyingly far away. Let's try, it's, oh, it's a Kaguti. Okay, cool. I thought it was a clan fear. My bad. I'm sorry, it's been a few, been a few years since I played. I got my creatures wrong, so we can't go that way, we can't... I've got to find the way that I went over these hills. Where's the Daedric Ruins? Yeah, the, the UK, honestly, right now, it's a tad breezy, isn't it? If someone in the UK says it's a tad breezy, it basically means it's very windy. 
Now, if I remember correctly, there was a way, as you said, to get a Daedric Spear very early in the game. Was that you have to go to the the dude that cures you of the corpus disease, and you can just take one from him or something? Or was it Oblivion, or was it Morrowind, where there's like a little kid that is hearing demonic voices telling him to open the closet, and if you open the closet, there's like a Daedric artifact. Is that the one? It's either in Oblivion or Morrowind. I'm sure it's one of them. Skyrim. Skyrim Under Reach. That's the one. It's like a little kid and he's like, I hear the weird voices. And then you can go and get like a really powerful weapon. That's the one. Always the atmosphere. You know what? I think that Morrowind does the atmosphere of an adventure game really well. Just really, really well. You know what we do need? We need a fortified speed scroll. Don't say you miss Rufus. Nobody misses Rufus. I have to legally deny his existence, otherwise I am still on the hook for child support. So no, nobody, nobody misses Rufus. Wooden door to Thrall's ancestral tomb. I don't think we need to bother uh, annoying Thrall or his ancestors yet, do we? Uh, hang on, someone said something about a minimap. Just realized there isn't a minimap. There is. Bottom right. See? That's a mini-map right there. There you go. That's all you need. If you open the menu, there is a map. And what I can do is click Stay. And then that will stay there when I play the actual game. Or, oh, we found Balmora. It's the wrong way, but we found it. Or what I can do is change that to Local Map. And then I can move it around from here. You can, if you want to, change the size of this to be whatever the heck you want. So you can play the game with a pretty big minimap if you want to. But I honestly prefer to play it like this. Using the world and just trying to kind of memorize where I am. So we could have any of the, the windows open if we needed to. And I'm sure we will do at some point. But right now, this is the way it's going. You know what, you're right. It does look a bit like an MMOUI, doesn't it? It does. So we can laugh at the word gash the whole time. Oh, it is funny. You're a trader. Do you sell hats? Go ahead. I really need someone that sells hats. You the trader? Barter? No. Iron helm. Iron helm. Leather helm. Oh, I can't believe that nobody sells hats. Because my character can't wear anything. They can't wear a helmet because they have a weird shaped beast head. You have questions. Look. See? I mean, don't get me wrong, she's beautiful. But I uh, I do feel hatless right Go now. Ahead. Hats are exclusive to the Tribunal DLC. Well, we've got the Tribunal DLC installed. We should have a hat. Let's pop into the Mage's yeah. Guild and hand this person some mushrooms. You can wear the fur helm. Will you marry me, Josh? I will I very much need to write up a prenup for that. Although I do appreciate that your Twitch name is Unshaved Balls. That has... It's... You've set expectations very early. I appreciate that. There's no, going to be no surprises when we get down oh, there. It's yes, full. Well, it's I, I'm, I'm aware. I'm ready. You're ready. We all know. You know? It's, it's important that we just set that expectation from the start. Yet. Has Lusty found the mushrooms yet? Yep, here you go. Do you have all the samples of the mushrooms? Yes, we do. Here they are. Yes, these are all good samples. Now Ajira can write the report and be a journeyman of the Mage's Guild. Ajira has made potions for you to take in the return. Ajira is no great alchemist yet, but Ajira thinks you can use these. Right, so we've got uh, four cheap restore health potions. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. You got any more uh, duties for me, maybe? Yes, Ajira has more duties. Ajira made a bet with... Galbadir. Ajira made a bet with Galbadir that Ajira would be a journeyman before Galbadir. Now Ajira must study these mushrooms and write a report. Ajira wants you to give Galbadir a fake soul gem. Ajira has made a fake soul gem. Take it and put it in Galbadir's desk upstairs. Galbadir should be coming downstairs to talk with Meirandren, so no one will see you do this. Okay, so we've, uh, we've got a a fake soul gem on us right now. We need to put it in a healer can tend your wounds. someone's desk upstairs. So we head back upstairs. Oh, hello, Are hello. Are you here about your wounds? 
You should find healing. Hey, Galbadir. How's your day going? I'm not putting any fake soul gems anywhere. Bye. Okay, I think I got away with that. I don't think she suspects anything. This is not the right way. This might be the right way. Beautiful. Galbadir's desk. Sneak mode. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, dun, dun. Fake soul gem into the desk. And close. Done. Unsneak. Perfect. Quick save. No one knows. No one saw anything. Take the grand soul gem. They don't need it. Do they need it? Sneak. Sneaking mode. Save. New save game. Before the crime. Take. Greater soul gem value. Six thousand gold. Grand soul gem. Sixty thousand gold. insane who has 60,000 holy crap that's insane have you seen this soul gem I've heard a lot about you outland it's Go ridiculous ahead. can I sell this to you look Galbadir Galbadir look at this look at this soul I gem I don't know if I can help you but I'll try oh hang on I probably shouldn't sell it to you because barter she's only got 900 gold I could sell you your own soul gem back. I would even give you a discount and I would only charge you 900 gold. Instead of anything else. No, see, it's worth 6,000. Ah. No, I'm going to keep that. That's mine now. That's mine. Goodbye. Have fun. Go back upstairs and look. Go. You should go and look at your desk and look at all the things that you've always had and nothing is missing. Goodbye. Okay, I think I played it cool. I think I, I think I got away with that. All right, I'm listening. I think everything's fine. Greetings. Quick save, it's fine now. I've, I'm going to go back to quick saving, so I'm very confident we're not going to get caught. They report you when you sell their own items back. They won't know. They'll have no idea. Has Lusty put the fake soul gem in Galbadir's desk? You have put the gem in the desk, as Ajira asks. Ajira thanks you. Your journal has been updated. Any more duties for me? Ajira must now study local flowers. Yes, Ajira must study flowers now. Ajira needs samples of gold canet, stone flower petals, willow anther, and heather. They can all be found in the shores of Lake Amaya. Southeast, out of Balmora. Past Fort Moonmoth, then follow the signs and take the road to Pelagade. After you cross the Foyada. Mameka. Todd Howard, why did you just... Did you just smash your face on the keyboard when you were naming everywhere? Go towards Soran at the next crossroads. All the flowers Ajira needs are near the path to Soran, which runs along the north shore of Lake Amaya. All right, sweet. Lake Amaya. We can find that. We can do this. Ajira wants samples of four flowers. These are on Lake Amaya. I should go south out of Balmora and head east past Fort Moonmoth and across the Mamea on the road to Pelagade. After leaving the Foyoda, I should take the road to Saran. So basically, I need to find Lake Amaya, which is near Saran. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's oh, work this out. A tourist. We're gonna you've been in Lake Amaya. Oh, is that where I fought the amazing fish? I mean, it wasn't that amazing because I killed it, but I think that was where I fought the fish. I'm 90% sure that's what happened. Are hey, you how's sure it? About your wounds? You should find healing. Look at that amazing desk with nothing missing. Have fun. Let's go this way. Right, we've been to Lake Amaya, have we? So I need to go to... I should go south out of Balmar and east past Fort Moon Moth and across the Foyo de Mamea on the road to Palagade. So just to Palagade. To Palagay, this is fine. I love... Oh, okay, so Morrowind music kicks ass. In fact, the Skyrim theme is mostly made up of stuff from Morrowind. Is the music too loud, or is the music just the right... I think it should be just good. 
Lusty is one smooth operator. She really is. This is the legend of Lusty the Argonian maid. She was the true Nerevar. The Nerevar rising. In fact, the music's even playing for her. The music should be louder and you should be quieter. That's, I can't argue with that. That is just kind of true. Oh, hang on. A, a flower. This is Creshweed. No one needs you, Creshweed. Get out of here. Get out of here, you little scamp. We're not here for you, are we? Music is second monitor content. The game. Yes. I thought you had the Skyrim soundtrack on. So much better. The Morrowind soundtrack. Right, that I believe over there is Fort Moon Moth, so we need the road to Pelagade. That's Caldera. This is the road to Pelagade. What tree is this? That is Chokeweed. We don't need that. As long as that weed establishes a safe word, I'm sure it's fine. This sign should also be taking me. Yep, Pelagade is this way. Oh no, Cliff Racers incoming. That's fine. We've got our trusty spear. We can be stabbing them. Right, before we continue our journey over to Pelagate, I need a quick bathroom break. So, ladies and gents, take a five-minute break, grab a bite to eat, grab a drink, and I will see all of you gorgeous people in, let's say, ten minutes. I'm planning on playing Morrowind for a while. So, if it was just like a stream, like two hours and then nothing, that'd be fine. But we're going for a few hours here. Guys, take a break. I'll see you then. I will just add on a little timer. All professional and whatnot. Let's have another exactly eight minute break, which will end up being a four minute break because I'm bad at time. I'll see you then.
I'm back. I'm actually here now. I'm just going to make you wait for the next three minutes. Okay, hang on. Visa being good enough to ruin Josh's. I just redeemed 50,000 points for VIP. This man just keeps scamming me and I can't do anything about it. Visa, hang on. Wait. No, no. Did you legitimately just redeem 50,000 channel points to become a VIP? Let me just check. Let me scroll down and see if I can find where that happened. Because I don't know if you did or not. I'm not seeing it. I'm checking. But I'm not seeing it, Visa. Where was it? Where was it? Did that happen? I trust him. He did trust. Maybe he did. It's just, okay, maybe he did. It's his own man. Did you actually legitimately do that? I'm trying to find out where it was redeeming the VIP thing. Okay, I suppose we need to, instead, we need to vote for this. How about I let you guys vote on this, okay? I'll let you vote on it right now. Because Visa, obviously, is the force behind the Josh Strife Says clip channel and valiantly uploads to the Josh Strife Replays channel, which is where all of these VODs are held in their entirety with less editing than everywhere else, but still some because he puts the work in. Does Visa, the man who has created all of the clips, the man who uh, pretty much, you know, has reached more people with clips than I have with videos, which is a massive blow to the ego, obviously, does Visa deserve to be VIP? So let me poll it in the chat right now. You guys, does Visa deserve VIP? Yes? No. You have one minute to vote right now. I mean, he spent the points. Did he, though? I can't see the points being spent. I can't find them. I can't see where they are. I can't corroborate that. And I can't just go on trust of these kind of things. Yes, no. Maybe. I don't know. Let's find out. He does make good clips. He does make good clips. I can see my brain says no, my heart says yes, very true. If 50-50, he gets banned. If 50-50, he gets muted. <laughs> Can't ban him, but muted would be funny. Potentially. That's if you get, like, perfect 50-50 on this. Like, to the person, perfect 50-50. It has to be perfect to the person. It won't be. It'll get yes. Of course we'll get yes. Obviously people are going to vote yes. People like your visa. That wouldn't be funny. It would for me, and it would for other people. It wouldn't for you. I can imagine it would be quite, um, it would make your job harder. It would be quite uh, painful, harmful, hurtful in a way. 61% say you deserve to be a VIP. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Maybe we can, we can sort that out for you. Try talking now, visa. You should see a little diamond next to your name. Little diamond? Little VIP diamond going on there? Let's just see what happens. You've got your little, little dragon full helm. Where's the diamond, Visa? There, there it is. I'm honoured to receive this award. Don't, don't ever say I never do anything for you. I gave you a jar of mayonnaise and now a diamond on Twitch chat. I am, if anything, too good to you. I feel that you're... You're becoming complacent in this. You're going to demand more of me. And that's not going to be, be nice for any of us. Right, Pelagade is this way. Remember, I'm basically having to go to the lake to find four different types of flowers. And there are no map markers and no reminders of what kind of flowers you should have and no quest things online saying what you do or don't need. Pelagade apparently is this way now? I, I don't know if it is this way, but... We're going this way, so I guess we'll find out. Sir Hayes, could you be so kind as to wish me good luck for my exam tomorrow? You will... You don't need luck. What you need is... A bit of research, a bit of homework, a bit of focus, a bit of trust and belief in yourself. Because luck... Luck got nothing to do with how hard you've worked for this. Okay? You've worked well. You've done the reviews. You've done all of the kind of, uh, all the homework for it. You've, you know the knowledge. Don't, 
Don't... Don't give Locke the accolades that you deserve because you've worked hard for it. You're not going to walk into that exam full of luck. You're going to walk into it full of knowledge that you have earned. I'm assuming that you've earned the knowledge and you're not actually just walking in there completely winging it. If you are walking in there having just decided to completely wing it, luck ain't going to help. But in general, I hope that you walk in there with all of the uh, review and research that you've done on it. That's the best way to do it. If you did the work, yeah, you don't need luck, man. Walking in there and hoping for luck is... What you'll find is the harder you work, the luckier you get. Because there is a very strong correlation between those two things. That is the lake. What I need now are the flowers. Gold canet, stone flower, willow anther, and heather. They are found on the shores of Lake Amaya. I should take the road to Saran, which runs along the northern shore of Lake Amaya. So... Let's go and find four types of flowers. One of them could be that one just there. That little gold thing of there. See what we've got, shall we? This is why you need to raise luck. Aha, gold cannot. One. And heather. Two. So gold cannot, heather. There were two more types of flowers we needed somewhere, wasn't there? What were they? Is this one of them? Let's find out. That is not an interactable flower. That could be. That's still gold, canard, and heather. I think we've already got the... Yep, got those already. What was the name of the other two? Gold, canard, heather, stone flower, and willow anther. Stone flower and willow anther. Where would you be? If I was stone flower and willow anther, where would I be? Let's just stab this mud crab. Assert dominance. God damn, okay, he just wrecked me. Oof. Wow. Well, respect. Respect. I don't know if they'll be in the water. They shouldn't be. No. No, they're not in the water. They are land flowers. We need stone flower and something else that I've forgotten the name of. But I do not know what they look like, and I'm going to keep quick saving because I'm pretty sure there's a bandit around here somewhere. That is cork bulb. Don't need that. There's a lot of plants in the game that you can obviously uh, mix into potions and stuff, but I'm not really focusing too much on on this year. I've never played Morrowind or Oblivion. It's very much... It shows its age. It's a very slow, very old RPG. Now, personally, I love it because I'm very much into slow old RPGs. That's my, uh... That's my millennial showing. Willow Flower. That's what we need. I'll grab you. And... Was it a petal we needed? There was one more thing. St uh, black... Okay, interesting. Black Anther. I may as well take that because it might be useful in the future, but what I need now is stone flower. If I were a stone flower, what would I look like? And where would I be? I assume you'd look like a stone. Gold cannot, gold cannot, heather. Ah! That's cork bold again. Don't, don't say a stone, because I'm just going to start looking at stones now and being like, Aha! Found you. Right, Stoneflower. You've got to be around here somewhere. What's the full name? Just Stoneflower. It's Stoneflower Petals. Okay, that's cork bulb. It's impressive that you start to recognise stuff just immediately by it. I am hunting down plants in a game. It's Cornflower Blue. Oh, hello! Hello, give me a second. Oh, little worm. Cheeky little worm back there. That was a seriously loud enemy attack noise. That is cornflower blue. Stoneflower. Beautiful stuff. Cornflower blue just constantly makes me think of that scene in... What's the... What's the film? It's Fight Club, isn't it? Where it's like, can I get the icon in Cornflower Blue? 
And the little IT guy goes, absolutely. Why is it that you can just remember small bits of films like that? Does anyone else do that? It's, it's got to be some weird neurodivergent thing, but I can watch a film once or twice and just remember really random specific bits of it. Just little random clips. This is a lovely view. That, I believe, is the fort. Is that Fort Moonmoth? Double check. That? That's Palagade. Okay. So, with that being Palagade, I wonder if that is where the Legion needs someone. Because we can actually go back through this book and ask about where the Legion was. Where was the... Someone told me about the Legion. Okay, do we have to literally just look through topic? Oh, oh, there's a quest thing. I didn't even realize that. That is genuinely brand new to me. That's fantastic. Dark Brotherhood, Fighters Guild, Tavani Agents, Mages Guild, Beauty and the Bandit. I did not even realize there was a quest list in the game. But the Imperial Legion. I? Yeah, there we go. Imperial Legion. We have garrisons of Fort Palagade and Pelagraph, Hawk Moth. Uh, why? Join the Imperial Legion? Death's Head in the West Gak near the village of Nisus. Okay, cool, it's Nisus. Right. This is, that's how crusty this game is. We had to go back through like three different screens just to find a quest list. Whereas normally you press Q and it'd be straight there. Turns out Q in this game is Auto Walk, which is actually a very nice place to put the Auto Walk. I need to get back to Balmora now, and Balmora is northwest. So I press Q. Off we pop. The great thing about this is that... Do the dungeon quest. Right. Someone help me out with this. There is a dungeon in Morrowind. I'm sure this is true. And when you first enter it, it was meant to set the boss of the dungeon's level at something like 1.1 times your level in order to make it more difficult but not impossible. However... There is a a slight bug with the game where it actually sets it at roughly 11 times your level. So if you walk into the dungeon at level 1, it sets the boss to level 11 and will absolutely wreck you. But once you've walked into it for the first time, it sets the boss at that and then stays there. So if you walk in low level, you can then come back later. The problem is if you level up to like level 30 and then walk in, it sets the boss to something like level 300 which makes it basically unkillable. I'm sure that is one of them. And I'm trying to work out exactly which dungeon it was, because if we can go there now, set the boss's level as, you know, doable, and then go back later, that will be much, much, much easier. But I need to know which one it is. I really need to know which dungeon it was. It was one of them. I'm sure that was a bug. Is that it's not the tribunal i don't think it's the tribunal expansion it's not the dude that you keep giving loads of money to until he gets full crazy black and gold armor and then attacks you love the color palette in the game it is i love it as well i'm i'm on board with you there man cheese walk into all the dungeons the notorious minor bethesda bug isn't that fixed in the mod have you tried walking backwards while stabbing you can effectively kite the enemies with a spear that's one of the reasons i've gone for a spear is this vanilla? It's vanilla, but it's got the Morrowind code patch applied to it, and I've given myself the widescreen mod and some graphical upgrade mods. That's pretty much it. Mechanically, yes. That's a side quest. There's a side quest in Tribunal, a Lich. Is it the Lich that sets their health to a certain... That might be it. Let me just stab this scrib. Oh, I heard... I heard what I thought was an attack, but clearly it's just me hearing things. What I also really like about this is I am already memorizing where to go. I think we go this way, and that should be Fort Moon Moth. And then to the left of us will be the bridge which takes us to Balmora. That's one thing I like about games that don't rely too much on a minimap. Is you do have to actually learn them and remember them. And provided that the land is well laid out and well built, it's possible to do. Distinct visuals... And if you're not going to have distinct visuals, an absolute ton of signposts very much helps. So yeah, signposts are good. 
If you don't want a map, you can press F11. Doesn't that take a screenshot? And I think we want to go... That's Caldera, so this way is Balmora. What was Caldera again? We don't need anything from Caldera yet. Although we might need something from the Mages Guild. F12 is the screenshot. Okay, cool. Would you sign my posts? Lust T. I can't believe that we decided to roleplay the entire game as the Lusty Argonian made. I don't... Do not... You know... Regret doing it. It may be one of the best Morrowind playthroughs I've ever done. And I'm very happy with that. That's a Balmora signpost. Okay, cool. On second thoughts, let us not go to Caldera. It is a city place. Need to finish Morrowind with Tamriel rebuilt. There's so many... My acrobatic skill increased to eight. Fantastic. There's so many good choices in this game, without a doubt. That's what... Yes, I'm playing an Argonian because I am literally playing... The Lust T. That's the character's name. Argonian Maid. We've made the Maid class. And it's very good. Uh, let's give this to... The Mages Guild. Will I be heading to Skyrim, home of the Nords? No, Skyrim belongs to the Nords. So there's no point for me going to, to do that as well, to check it out. Don't need to. Let's just pop in here. From where do you hail, friend? You don't need to ask me where I hail, or ask me about the soul gems in my inventory. None of these things concern you. Go back to your desk. What's my favourite Elder Scrolls game? RPG? Definitely Morrowind. Game to play? Probably Oblivion. Greetings, friend. I have the flowers for you. Here they are. Yes, these are the flowers that Ajira needs. Ajira has made more potions for you. Ajira hopes you will use them well. You got any more duties for me? Ajira is very sorry, but Ajira has much work to do on these reports, so Ajira can win her bet with Galvadia. Maybe you could fetch a new ceramic bowl for Ajira. Yes, take these ten drakes and find Ajira a ceramic bowl. Ajira thinks Ravia, the trader in Balmora, has some. Okay, so my my quest is just go and buy a bowl. You have my attention. What a this game is thrilling in every way. Pawn shop time. Let's go and buy a bowl. Buy the fur helm too. I don't think they sell them. Outland. I've had a look. I couldn't see it. I could not find don't it. Don't press your luck. Right. You're so the honor. trader that did the bowl was that this one, the river trader. So a quick check. She told me that Revere, the trader in Balmora, might have one. Is There's a trader, but there's also... That is the pawn shop. Where was the trader? Revere. Hang on. Uh, Revere, trader. There we go. Straight. Actually, it's connected. It's pretty much right by it. Quick. In we pop. Yo, Revere, how's it going? Need a bowl, mate. Barter. Nisk. Large redware bowl. No, no. It's got to be a ceramic bowl. Ceramic. One. Take. Total cost, two. Oh, you just got scammed. I was given ten coins for this. Bye. Oh, you have no idea. Right. You just missed out on eight coins. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. You could have, you could have bartered me up for eight coins, but you did not. You lost out there. You did not. You did not play that to your I'm strengths. One hundred percent stonks right there. Josh just hates Daedric weapons. Why do I hate Daedric weapons? Are you saying that I've not gone to get the free Daedric spear that you can get really easily yet? No, I could get it. How do you get it again? I mean, I know how you get it, but why don't you tell me how you think you get it, and I'll tell you if you're right. Obviously, I know. Huel sponsor. No, I just I bought a load of Huel, and the thing came with it, and it's a really good bottle. I did try and get Huel to sponsor me, but uh, they weren't interested. You buy them from Revere. Start believing. Start by believing in yourself. Walk to Revere. Ask for spear. Revere sells them. Are you? Hang on. I I don't know whether to believe you guys or not. 
But let's say that I did believe you. A... Let's just... Let's have a chat with Revere and see if they do sell them. I don't know. Revere. Just out of curiosity. Do... Daedric is a thing we can ask you about. What? You say these are not Daedric weapons? No, you are right. But Revere is no liar. When you wish it, Revere's fiend, demon, and devil weapons will be as sharp as fine Daedric weapons and as light as a man. Netch air sack. The magic lasts a short time, but long enough to punch through the toughest armor. Revere buys them direct from the Telvani. You will not find any cheaper in Balmora. Okay, so it's not an actual Daedric spear, is it? It's a spear enchanted to be a Daedric spear for a bit. Right, the barter. Weapons. There we go. Demon Tanto. Devil spear. Right. Fiend Katana, Fiend Tanto, Devil Spear. Spear, two-handed, bound spear for 60 seconds on self, lightning shield, one to ten points for ten seconds on self. Okay, so it's actually a pretty crap spear, but it's got the summon bound spear to a minute on you, which could be good. Could be good. Morrowind had a bug where if you summoned a weapon and then put it on the ground, you could then have it forever. Don't do it, it will break combat completely. I mean, it's not like combat's that much, you know, greatly balanced without it. It's Daedric the same way Squash is juice. Should I buy the Devil Spear for 165? Cast when used. Okay. When it is, it's cast when used. Is that... Yeah, it's a spell that attaches itself to an item and I can use it specifically. Pole, no, it's very easy to break combat in the game. Doesn't last long. You know what, for the time being, we'll stick with the basic spear. I will go and get an actual Daedric spear when I can. For now, we cancel that and I get one later. I don't need it yet. I'm doing fine with my current spear. Look, it's just a sharp bit of metal on the end of a stick. You don't need anything more complicated. Anyway. Uh, nothing. Sorry if I bothered you. I'm going to bring the mage her bowl. What if I lose about? a fight later, then I will come back and buy the bound spear. But remember, I can just learn spells. I can just... I can bind a bind spear spell to a ring and then just carry the ring with me. Is Daedric the best grade? Yes, it is. It is. There are Daedric artifacts as well that you can get all around the game, and they're very, very, very hard to get. But oh, you can find a few. Swift hunting friend. Ajira must make her. Ajira must find her stolen reports. I've just brought you a bowl. Yes, Ajira needs a ceramic bowl. Did you find me one? Yes, here it is. Yes, good. This is a good bowl. But now Ajira must find her stolen reports. <laughs> Did you send me on a fetch quest and then forget that you'd sent me to do it? And then when I come back, there's more stuff that I need to do. Because I appreciate that. Ajira needs your help very badly. Galbadir stole Ajira's reports on the properties of local mushrooms and flowers. Ajira knows Galbadir did not leave the Mage's Guild, so the reports must be nearby. Alright, sweet. So, just... You need me to just look around and find some stolen reports? Somewhere. Stolen reports. Have you found the stolen reports? No, not yet. Keep looking. They cannot be far. All right, cool. So we have to just find some stolen reports. Can Ajira please stop talking about herself in the third person? I can imagine they were right there. Right. How does any work get done? The only thing I've seen these two mages do with each other so far is just piss about. And while they've been doing that, I stole your most expensive stole gem. So if anything, I'm the biggest problem here. Is there a way to see past VODs? Yes. There are four YouTube channels. Josh Strife Hayes for the MMORPGs. Josh Strife Plays for the retro games. Josh Strife Says for the clips. And Josh Strife Replays for the full, very little edited blogs. So if you want the, the full VODs, you can just go and watch Josh Strife Replays. Okay, so we now need to search the entire Mages Guild to find where these reports could be. I'm going to guess a healer can tend your wounds. that they're going to be on that person's desk. Let's find out. 
Let's see if they are in or on your desk. And I can see in the chat the advice that they are not in a container, which do found it straight away. Didn't even look, found it straight. There it is Ajira's mushroom report. Gotcha. Ajira studies four common mushrooms in Vardenfell. Stuff. Stuff. What I like about this is this is actually mechanical information for the game. When mixed with pearl dust, makes a very good potion to breathe underwater. So if you read this, you actually gain knowledge. Tassan, thank you very much for the subs. That's remarkably kind of you. Welcome to the stream. Pro gamer. Thank you, obese to beast. Pro gamer straight away. All right, cool. So we've got... <laughs> Ajira works very hard to go all over Bitter Coast and collect all these mushrooms. Ajira deserves rank of the journeyman much sooner than Galbadir. Yes, Ajira. Yes, you do. So we've taken one of them. Now I need to find the other report. There's a mushroom report, but there's also... I don't know if I can help you, but I'll try. Uh, you can help me by moving. That's great, thanks. There is also another report all about flowers. So we've found the mushroom report that was there. If I were a... F what is this about? If I were a flower report, where would I be? Can you let these are out the basement anytime soon? No. If I did that, where would the clips come from? Think these things through. I'm not saying that I agree with slave labor. I'm saying that I agree with its Adventure results. So cities, I don't want to keep Visa locked up and force him to keep producing clips for the channel. But my God, it works well and is very effective. So he will stay in the basement. He will get fed a jar of mayonnaise once a year if he is good. And then he will produce clips for the Josh Drive Says channel. Everyone's a winner. You guys get funny clips. You I don't have, have to do attention. any work. Visa gets a jar of mayonnaise once a year if he's good. Found the report. Gotcha. Ajira studies things. Does Ajira say again? Yes. Ajira must do two reports and Galbadir must only do one silly report. Ajira deserves rank of journeyman very soon now. I feel that I deserve the rank of journeyman. So, Ajira, look, oh I'm going to give you these reports back, but you are really friend. taking the piss. Have you found the stolen reports? Yes, here they are. Yes, these are the reports Ajira needs. Ajira thanks you, Lusty. Ajira is your friend, always. Ajira worked very hard on these potions for you. Thanks, that's... I actually appreciate getting the potions. It's pretty cool. Any more duties for me? Ajira knows many secrets, but they are not yet for friend Lusty. Speak with Ajira again when you are a warlock. Rannis Arthas may have duties for you, but Ajira does not like Rannis much. Maybe you should speak with Ajira's good friend, Edwina Elbert, at the Guild of Mages in Aldrun. 99 out of 100 disposition. That's pretty good. I will speak with Rannis. Even though you don't like Rannis. Hey. To say. Where's... If I was a Rannis, Looking where would I be? Particular. Would I be over here? You Adventure know, you're not Rannis. Josh, are you planning on reviewing Fallout 1 and 2? Getting them to run on a modern system is a bit of a nightmare, but I would like to. Looking for There's something. a lot of stuff I that I do I want to do. Unfortunately, it's just... Getting things to run on modern hardware is irritating. Let's see if the Rannis is up here. The Rannis man. Ah, oh, yeah, I know you. Hey, Rannis, how's it going? Outlander, what do you want? Do you want more duties or not? I don't have any duties for an associate, but you may be ready for advancement. Congratulations. You are now officially Lusty, the apprentice. Study diligently and perform your duties. I don't have any duties for an apprentice. Speak with me when you prove yourself. In the meantime, speak with a Jira. Now, Morrowind may be showing its age when you need to go repeatedly up and down to speak to Are the you people. Wounded? Didn't you? You wanted Warlock, didn't you? You did duties. Yeah, so speak with her when you're a Warlock. Rannis may have duties, but Ajira doesn't like Rannis. Maybe speak to Ajira's good friend, Edwina Elbert in Old Rune. We could always go to Old Rune. Or we could teleport somewhere else. Right. Who runs the teleport circle? Ah, travel. Old Rune, Vivek, Sadrith Mora, or Caldera. 
I don't want to... Do you sell spells? Oh, hang on. Bound Spear. Bound Spear for 60 seconds on self. That's Conjuration. We could use that. That could be good. Advancement is one step at a time. I think we should buy Bound Spear. Fantastic. Got it. Uh, everything else is way too expensive for me to do. Ah, right, cool. Do we now know Bound Spear? Buy a hat. I don't think she sells those things specifically. Also, when I purchase the spell, is it a one-time cast thing? Or do I now know that spell? permanently. I now know it permanently. Cost. Okay, hang on. This is a problem. Cost, 6. Chance, 13. Now, I'm guessing that means 13% because it's a conjuration spell and I am bad at conjuration. So that might mean that I have a 13% chance to cast this every time I try and cast it, but I still have to pay. And every time I cast it successfully, I might gain a little bit of experience within conjuration. I need to level Conjuration pretty substantially. Can you train me in Conjuration? You can't, which is annoying. Do you sell... Do you sell Mark and Recall? That's what I need. Do you sell Mark and Recall? Hang on, do you sell a hat? Apparel. No, you don't sell a hat. Who sells Mark and Recall? Weird pitch shifting happening to the music. I'm not doing it. What about you? Uh, spells. You don't see... Summon Minion. Could be good. Could be useful. Summon Skeletal Minion. Summon Bone Walker. Now, a Minion could be a good thing. That could be needed, actually. Playing Morrowind as a Paladin. Let's... Buoyancy is useful as well. Calm creature, calm humanoid. On Ducey's open, open door, open 50 points. Let's see if I can get a... You know, I don't want to spend all my gold. I've also got 420 gold, which Looking is quite funny. Something in particular. I'd rather keep that. A healer can tend your wounds. Oh, this is another one. Spell making. Magic effects. Bind spear. Duration. You can make it really... That's insane. Do you want a, a bind spear spell that lasts for... Literally 10 minutes. You could do that. That would work. I'm assuming duration is... That's in seconds. Is that seconds or like immediate in-game kind of stuff? Negative spell chance. So spell chance right now 21. If we take it up to there... Okay, so there is a minus 122% that would actually happen. Yeah, I can't... Uh, I can't do that yet. What about... What do you sell? I need Mark and Recall. How difficult is it to find where the heck Mark and Recall is sold? Spells. I can't believe that none of you sell this. Someone in chat might need to tell me where the heck they sell it at the temples. The teleport lady knows. It would make sense the teleport lady does know Mark and Recall. But let's find out. Mark and Recall is sold in Vivek. Bound Spear for one sec on self plus Soul Trap on one, one sec. Yeah, that would work. Trap my own soul with that. Spells, what do you sell? You do not sell Mark or Recall. But if we could travel to Vivek and buy it, find a the temple in Balmora oh, has it. Right, let's pop to the temple, shall we? Then I'm going to go to Caldera, and I don't want to travel to Caldera via the Mages Guild, because that's money, and I'm going to be very, very tight. Mages Guild supply chest. Can we take these things? Are these just... Can we just have these? Are these allowed? I, I don't need these things. That's fine. I'm listening. What do you say? Go ahead. What's your rank? Can we advance yet? Mages Guild appreciates the duties you've done, but there are more requirements. Interesting. Okay, hang on. The Guild of Mages only accepts candidates must... Oh, I'm already in it, so I just need to do some more general stuff. Where's the temple? Where is the temple? I can take stuff from the guild chests freely. 
If I were a temple in Balmora, where would I be? Go right out of here and to my right. So I've gone right. That looks pretty temple -y. The other way. The other right. Ah, that's a temple. Found it. Found it. Get the spell to fly. That would trivialize a lot of the overworld traveling, I feel. I feel that just being able to immediately fly wherever we needed to fly to would ruin a lot of the exploration. This, to me, looks like the temple. Let's have a quick check. It's the Dunmer Temple. This is great. Right. Who in here sells spells? Yo. Barter. You don't sell anything I need. But have a good day. You look stoned out of your mind. You just chill. Enjoy. Enjoy whatever it is you're doing. All right. The Skooma Speedrun Strat. Yes, I've seen these funny things before. Downstairs, there are two NPCs. They both sell Mark and Recall. I will not use guides, but I will use you. Consider it that way, chat. I will not be reading up on what to do, but if you tell me things, I will happily listen to the advice. Right, there are two things down here. So it's spells. Mark. Okay, beautiful. And recall. So you only sell mark, but you don't sell recall. That's that's interesting. Do you, my friend? Your wounds sell are minor compared to what you will receive if you continue to bother Yes, me. you do. Beautiful stuff. Goodbye. Right, what that means is there's eleven percent chance that this would work. So ready the spell. Get ready to cast. I think it worked. I think it worked. Did it work? I it might have worked. Now we cast recall. So if we succeed failed. You don't have enough magic to cast the spell. So I need to just wait for an hour. That doesn't regain magic up. Okay, cool. So we if failing only get literally one chance because our magicka is very low i see i should have installed a magicka regen mod didn't we're gonna keep going we're gonna play like this this is how it's going does my magicka even regen at all naturally restored by resting so it doesn't regen when you just kind of hang around you need to sleep. That's what potions are for. This is the price for the lover's kiss. Is that actually one of the problems? Like, if we take the lover's kiss because we've we've been born under... Do we not get regen for it? Oh, it's, it's always terrible. Okay, cool. It's just always bad. What keeps me coming back to this old game? Uh, Self-hatred, loathing... Nostalgia, uh, a lovely heady mix of all of the above, probably. That's the best way to look at it. All right, cool. So we've marked and recalled. Let's have a quick look at the quests we're on currently. Options, quests. Uh, Fighters Guild, the Talvani Agents. I'm to find and fill, kill four Talvani agents responsible for the thefts and disappearances of the Caldera Mine. They're hiding in a cave in the hills north of the Caldera Mine, and they probably have a lookout. When the four agents are dead, report back to Fire Eye. So, Caldera Mine north. Let's mosey. Am I going the right way? Don't know. No idea. Let's find out. Did I purchase any other better... A Bound Spear? That only costs six. I can cast this twice, and I've got a... I've got a 13% chance of casting it. Yes. Someone just said, um, I think he's a wizard lizard. I am now, but if you've just joined us, I'm actually role-playing as the Lusty Argonian Maid, uh, because my character's name is Lusty, we are an Argonian, and we have made the Maid race, and we use a spear, because she is good with shafts. That's what we're doing. It's a, it's a full-on playthrough of Morrowind, entirely in the spirit of the Lusty Argonian Maid. You failed casting the spell. 
He failed casting the spell. Uh, wait. Oh, can we not... Can we not wait until healed? Oh, you can't do that when you're too close to... It's illegal to rest here. Right. We could go and sleep in Caius's bed, but we're not going to do that. Is the game worth trying for someone who loves Oblivion and Skyrim? So, you know how Skyrim is mostly like an action game with a, a kind of hint of RPG? And when you play Oblivion, it feels like it's much heavier on the RPG aspect, but the action maybe isn't as, as crazy. Well, Morrowind is very heavy on the RPG aspect, but not as heavy on the action, because the combat is much slower, it is much more RNG-based, uh, the level-up system is an absolute mess. It's It takes a lot longer to understand. But personally, if you like RPGs, I think it gives you a lot more freedom and a lot more depth than Skyrim and Oblivion do. I mean, for example, you'll notice that I've got a different shoulder pad on one shoulder to another. You can equip a left glove and a right glove, a left uh, thigh pad, a right thigh pad, left shoulder pad, right shoulder pad, left gauntlet, right gauntlet. You can be very messed up with this. It's... There's a huge amount of variety, but it's also very easy to make mistakes and completely mess your build up. It's also good if you like reading, which is very true. It's currently 1am. I'm going to hang around for a bit until sunrise, just so the... Just so we have a little bit more light. There we go. Going on. And my... I do need to fix my weapon, because my weapon is currently on... 517 out of 700, so I'm going to use a uh, an armorer's hammer to fix... Let's take 10 and fix that. How do we do that? There is a thing we have to do, I'm sure. You use it somehow? What's the skill that we use for it? The armorer's skill. Click hammer on the character. Okay. Ah, and then you choose what you want to fix. So I want to try and fix the Iron Halberd. And you can fail. Cool, that's fine. And that used up. Okay, so I've got one with 11 uses left. So each hammer has 20 uses, and you can fail to use it to repair your equipment. You must repair almost everything, almost all the time. In fact, one of the best ways to gain experience in heavy armor is to put some heavy shoes on or some heavy leg bits on and stand in shallow water and just let a fish attack you for hours and you will gain a ton of experience. We need to head to Caldera, which I believe is this way. Like I, I think it's this way. It's probably this way. It's probably fine. May I point to the fact that a halberd is not a spear? A spear is anything long and pointy that you wish to use as a spear. There is also, if I remember correctly, a... an ideal range where you are not too close or too far from the enemy. Let's rest until healed. You have been interrupted by an angry blunt. Right, cool, we're good. Hey, I can try my, my spell again. Oh, sweet! Bound spear worked! Oh, hell yeah! We just wrecked a rat with this! Beautiful! Also, casting that spell... So that was bound spear. That is a conjuration spell. And conjuration... I got 13 points of Conjuration experience by casting it. My Conjuration is currently level 5. You know when we actually need this spear? It will not be there. Like, can we put it away? And then get it back out. Sweet. So, this spear will not be there when we need it. Distance does not matter when calculating hit chance. Thank you very much. Why is the UI so impossibly tiny? Because this was not made for a 1920 by 1080 monitor. I've got a... My monitor's bigger than that. It's like, hang on, there's a number on it somewhere. 2140 by something. But I'm actually running the game in a 1920 by 1080 window because that's a fine resolution to run things at and it's a good thing to stream at as well. 
but the game was absolutely not made for 1920 by 1080 or anything else to be fair I, I need to get closer caldera this way i'm gonna cast that spear spell again oh we've cast it again 13 percent chance and yet and hang on bound spear cost six chance 14 percent getting better at this getting better at this and we're going to play the new ESO expansion. I've got a lot of games to play over a lot of time, so I would like to, but I've got a lot to get to. I like how you can see your own shoulder pad when you charge up the attack. Let's put this weapon away. Don't want to scare people. Okay, Caldera. What was the quest? The quest was Caldera Mines. Okay, hills north of the Caldera Mine. If we ask a guard about the Caldera Mine, will they tell us where that is? Because it'd be cool if they did. Let's find out. Hey, you. Talk to me. Where's the Caldera Ebony Mines? They are southwest of the village of Caldera. There's an office, a bunkhouse, and a guard tower. All right, southwest of Caldera. So this way, I suppose. That is what I like about this game. You can ask most NPCs about pretty much anything... And they will have some dialogue about it. So southwest of Caldera. Be that way. Do we maybe need to go through Caldera to get to these mines? Can I cast a spear again? No. No, that would be... That would be far too much. Do you gain any experience for failing to cast a spell? That is a good thing. No, not on fail. Okay, cool. Not on fail, then. That's a shame. Where are the ebony mines? They said they were southwest of Caldera. Caldera's that way. I am currently south of it, but I am not yet west of it. That way is the only way that I can see that would take me anywhere close to west. So let's find out. You get to experience failure, though. Cool. Perks of text-only dialogue without needing to get a voice actor. You can just write an absolute shed load of text-only dialogue. That is true. This might not be the right way, but they said southwest, and there's only so, so south and so west that you can go. It's probably over this massive mountain, and I had to go through Caldera first. But they said southwest, so we go southwest. Right now we are... So Caldera's there. And... Gosh darn, we are quite far away from where we... Where I thought we would need to be. We're basically... Is this back in Balmora? Go west. Remember to watch your fatigue. Yes, the fatigue affects everything, doesn't it? So the fatigue is the... Green meter to the bottom left. Okay, yeah, this is Balmora. We're back in Balmora. Have I just walked all the way to Caldera and then gone the wrong way? It's there. It must be there. You must have to go through Caldera to get to it. Not on the mountain, around again. Okay, cool. Q auto walks. Q for me is auto run. Right, let's go back to Caldera. Then let's go through the... At least we are gaining experience, though, in athletics. I think so. Hang on, one of them is. It's either athletics or acrobatics. I think it's athletics. Let's find out. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just 21 out of 100 is currently athletics. And if we run for a bit, we'll look at it again, and we will have leveled some of it. It'll just take 22 out of 100. We are leveling athletics by just running. Why does your character run like an idiot? Because they... Uh, look at that armor. The armor is not made for that kind of leg. Also, my character is a beautiful, beautiful Lusty Argonian. And I'm not taking the piss. Her name is Lusty. Look. It's up there. Acrobatics is jump as well as run. Yeah, so we can jump at the same time, but we will lose all our stamina while we do this. It has a huge EverQuest vibe. Very much so. This is from the 
kind of era when adventure games they had good adventures in them but they had very few quality of life updates that made having the adventure easy i mean the adventure was always difficult to go on that's one of the things i would describe it as modern oh, there's a cliff racer up there modern games modern adventure games want to make the adventure as easy as possible to have whereas old adventure games wanted to make it as difficult as possible to have i'm gonna you can't rest when enemies are nearby <laughs> take that rat rest until healed it'll be several hours interrupted by angry squib and on we go you can just walk through Caldera. I could have walked through Caldera. However, I could instead go around the uh, the mountains. Why not looting the rat? Nothing on it that I could possibly need. I've got my spear and I've got a can-do attitude. That's all I need. Okay, so when they said, hey, the Caldera ebony mines are southwest, there's a sign for the Caldera Mining Company. God damn it. So we go this way and then we go west. All right, cool. Come on, Caldera Mining Company. Show me things. Yeah, you also do need a certain level of strength to carry things. So also, ah, we're currently in the West Gash region, which, if I remember correctly, was where they needed some Imperial Legionnaires. So we could join the Legion while we're here. Fantastic. I'm going to keep trying to summon this spear. Boom. Got it. All right. We have got the spear. Now we just need to find the ebony mines. If I was an ebony mine, where would I be? It's always fun when it's hard. That is actually Lusty's motto. Is that the guard tower? Is that just Caldera? That might be the guard tower. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Oh. What? Oh, God, you. Oh. oh, okay. One hit, one kill. God damn. That will happen to you unless you help me. I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, seen any Telvani agents around here? You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. No, I haven't seen any Telvani agents. Although, now you mention it... Oof. It was very lucky that I had this spear out. Very lucky. But that is one Telvani agent down. Let's loot everything. Oh, this is a cool thing about uh, Morrowind. When you loot an enemy's corpse, you can see everything that they've got. And if you take everything, then it leaves their corpse. Kind of like Skyrim. But this did it 22 years ago. Standard potion of fire shield. Bargain restore health. Probably very useful. Uh, arrows, always useful, don't weigh anything. Longbow, can sell it. Don't need any of these things. Um, dragon scale tower shield. Can you use a shield and a spear at the same time? Is that a thing you can do? I think you can. There, there used to be a thing in Morrowind where you could equip a shield, then you bring out a spear, but then you still get the bonus of the shield. I thought there was a problem with that. Maybe they fixed it. Do I need my Imperial Chain Cuirass? Armor rating 16, it's medium. Whereas that's armor rating 21, I'm better with what I've got. So let's just dispose of corpse. Which pretty much takes it out of the world. That way you don't need to worry about everything. Apparently disposing of corpse picks everything the corpse had on it up. I don't need this. I can stay there. Right. I am I going to be able to get into the Telvani Mining Company without my amazing bound spear? Doesn't matter. We got it back. We got it back. First time catching a live stream. Didn't realize you streamed anything other than Barbie or Mary, Kate, and Ashley. Normally you'd be true. Don't tell anyone that I stream anything else. Don't let anyone know. Nobody needs to know that I actually stream 22-year-old RPGs. Before you all start to get annoyed at me, it is true that Morrowind came out in, I think, 2002, which does make it 
22 years old. Right, mining bunkhouse. Nothing in here that I could possibly need. What I do need to do is get my way to the actual... Go down here somehow? Was there a way through the bunkhouse that I just totally missed? Like some stairs or something. Oh yeah, hang on. It's a little trap door. Gets us down to the rest of the region. Note to mages. Please be judicious in your use of fire spells while guarding slaves deep in the mine. Often flammable gases are present and, as last week's incident indicates, even a small flame can spark a huge explosion. We don't know if Casina will ever get that patch of fur back. That is a lovely in-game way of teaching you mechanics. Now we know that. Can I have a nap in the bunk bed? Can I have a nap until healed? Beautiful stuff. There we go. Look, these guys are... They're clearly slavers. I'm not too bothered about respecting sleeping in their beds. That is a hell of a storm. Right, the plan is, head into the mines, find the Telvani agents, kill them, report back to the Fighters Guild. But before that, five minute break, stretch your legs, grab a to eat, grab a drink. Ladies and gents, I'll see you in five.
Don't worry, I'm here. It's okay. Don't you worry. It, I know that you're worried, but I need you to not be. Just a tad late. Just a little tiny bit late. You can't you can't be angry at me, all right? You can't be annoyed. Just a tiny bit late. I was busy making a cup of tea, okay? I was making a cup of tea. I've got the tea here. You can now all relax. Everything's fine. Also got a little protein bar. You know what? I'm going to have a little bite of it. So here's the truth. You're not going to want to hear this, but here's the truth. How do people manage to sit and stream for eight hours a day without going to the bathroom often? Because I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm trying to be healthy. And like every hour, every hour and a half, my body's like, hey, you should, uh, you should go and have a piss. I mean, I'm not, I know that I am a professional streamer, but I don't think I'm at the piss bottle level yet. Give it some time and we'll get there. But no, it's a protein bar. I do want to stream for longer. I do want to do like six hour streams, seven hour streams, but oh my God, they're just so physically draining. And let's be real, playing Morrowind is not the, uh, the easiest thing to do for long periods of time. So protein bar, tea, let's do that. It's a good protein bar. What was this? Jimmy's brand protein bar. Probably from Costco. Right, let's go stab some Talvani agents in the face. Who's house Talvani? What do they want? Who cares? No one knows. Doesn't matter. Someone with authority over me told me to kill someone. I go and do it. That's the kind of adventurer that I am. I keep trying to cast these spears. Right, that is the Caldera mine. But, from what I remember, they were hiding in a... Was it the Caldera mine? They're hiding in a cave in the northern hills of the Caldera mine. So they're hiding in a cave in the northern hills. So that's Caldera. This is the Caldera mine. This might be the cave. Or it might be another cave that we need to go to. Who knows? I'm going to keep casting this spell until it works. There's a 14% chance it'll work every single time we try. Now we're out of mana. Okay, cool. That didn't work. Uh, second plan, just run in with a stick. North. Just go north. Is this the cave? I don't think this is the cave. It might be the cave. Let's find out. Let's find out. Hey guys, how's it going? You, uh, you seen any... Any assassins around here? Hey. How's it going? What do you want? You, uh... You see any assassins? Ebony Mine, Dark Brotherhood? Latest rumors kind of thing going on? Oh, he actually talks to me about... He talks to me about the Dark Brotherhood attacking me. You say you've been attacked by assassins. From your description, it sounds like the work of the Dark Brotherhood. I'm not sure who you angered, but stay away from me. I suppose this should be officially reported. Speak to Apple's Metius in Ebonheart about this matter. All right, cool. So uh, you just want the Metius. I don't know if this is the right place. Someone in the chat tell me, because otherwise we will be here for weeks. Does a mine count as a cave? Or are we looking for an actual cave? Because if I were a Talvani agent, I would not be hiding in like a regular mine. I would be... I'd be wanting a, a crazy hidden mine somewhere. Let's find out, see if we can find any more crazy hidden mines around here. It's just a big cave. Big old, big old cave. Now, so look for tentacles. Hey, whatever you're into is fine, but I don't think it's the kind of thing that we're, we need right now. Maybe I can wait until... It's 5 a.m. Let's just rest in for like three hours until we get some sun. There we go. Now we've got a bit of sun. I mean, it's raining. It's not the best bit of sun ever, but it's a bit more sun. The elf guy was watching out the front of the cave. The elf guy was the dude over there. He he wasn't even in this mine bit. Have I just gone completely the wrong way? It, do I need to go all the way back to where the elf guy was? Hang on. That, yeah, that might be what I've done wrong here. I see what I've done. What I did was I tried to be smart. Will not make that mistake again. I, whenever, 
The next time I start to think, I very much need everyone in the chat to tell me to stop doing that. Because problems arise when I attempt to think. I still only have a... What's the thing? It's a conjuration. Oh, 55 out of 100. Oh, beautiful, see? 55, made the spear. What do we then get? 66. I get 11 conjuration experience every time I try and do this. 11 conjuration experience every time I cast this spell. That. That's pretty impressive. Let's pop up here and then head out this door here. Morrowind is, I would describe it as, it's cozy. It's dark and scary and alien, but there's definitely like a cozy vibe to it. You guys feel that? I feel the cozy vibe. I bet it's that cave over there, that big door that was being guarded. It's probably, yeah, you know what? The assassins are probably hiding inside the guarded cave where the guard was. Once more, dear friends, unto the breach. Ah, okay. Ashanamu. The Daedric or the old Dwemer caves all have really old weird names. Now I'm going to set my spell to be Lover's Kiss. Paralyzed target for 60 seconds. Damage fatigue 200 points on self. And I've only got one. So basically I drain all my fatigue in order to paralyze someone for a minute. And that is a very apt skill for the lover to have. You run out of breath, but my god, they are amazed. Don't know why, but these 2000s games skyboxes are cozy. They are, aren't they? I like it. There is a vibe to it. All right. In we go. Now I'm going to get ready to cast this kiss spell onto the first person that I find. Oh, they're all together. Oh, for God's sake. That makes this a lot harder. Target resisted magic. That makes things even worse. Okay, I am getting absolutely wrecked. Life to me. I'm dead. And I will end your life. Is this quest beyond my level? Right, rest until healed. Cast. Go inside. Quick save. Cast the spell. What the heck was that? What did I cast just then? Oh, that was Lover's Kiss. Oh, for God's sake. You can't rest. Enemies are nearby. Um, cast Down Spear. Keep casting until we actually get it. This is peak gameplay. Don't pretend it's not. Quick save. Go. Sub nerds. Okay. This. This is way easier. Okay, this makes combat all. Okay, right. Bound spear is where it's at. Right. There is no way that we are doing any fight without a bound spear. The next thing we are doing is getting a Daedric spear permanently. Or I'm going to learn bound spear for like half an hour. Summon it once. We're sorted. What have you got that's worth? Standard fortify speed. I'll take that. Restore fatigue. I'll have that. Fortify health might be useful. Everything else you've got is worthless. Don't need you at all. What about you? Oh, you got a uh, an iron short sword. Value 62, weight 20. What's my weight on currently? Can you not see how much I'm carrying in general? Is there a way to see that? Um, where am I looking for weight carried? Oh, 175 out of 200. Okay, cool. Right, it's just there. Very much running out of the ability to carry. Potions be heavy, yo. Let's just take some of those things. Oh, what have you got on you? 
Scroll of Summon Skeleton. Summon Skeleton Minions for 60 seconds on self. It's always good to have spells. And Wooden Staff, pointless. Cheap restore health, always useful. Okay, cool. So we've got some stuff. Bound Weapon gives like 50 to their skill as well. Let's have a quick check. So, Spear. I mean, we it's, we're doing good. We've got a... Bound Spear. Fortify Spear. 10 points on self. That's good. Okay, so I'm fortifying it 10 points and it does 40 damage, so just more likely to win in general. I know that we don't need to go any deeper into this cave, but should we just explore around and see what they've got? Because there might be, for example, like gold. May as well take it, you know? Not like they need it. Can you summon 100 skeletons? Probably, if you had the uh, ability to do so. Rusted chest, lock level 10, trapped. Quick save. Okay, so I don't have any lock picks, so I can't even attempt that. Don't... Oh! Well, goddamn! I just opened this barrel. Silver Flame Slayer. Long blade, two-handed. Weight 21.6, so it's heavy, but it's worth 350 gold. That is a legitimately good sword. Problem is, I'm now slightly overweight, so Iron Longsword, which is valued at 40, can go back in the barrel. And I'll take all of your gold. Sometimes, you just find some good stuff. Like, some gold in here. Some gold in here. This is the game now. We are just looting things. It is actually legitimately better than my spear, which is very annoying, because I am... Enjoying the spear. So what was that long sword? It's a long. It's a two-handed long blade. So my current spear does twenty damage on the thrust, and this does twenty-seven damage on the chop. And it is a long blade, which means it is still one of our major skills. So actually, we could use that if our spear gets broken. We can legitimately use that sword we just picked up. That's a good idea. I have not seen that. No. Now, I will look into that. But uh, I'm actually really far behind on most Morrowind lore. Ooh. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Let me just get rid of that. Right, Slaughterfish done. Hang on, I've got a water breathing on self spell. Save. In. Ah, I also really hate the water. Oh. Personal hatred aside, is there anything useful in this cave? I, oh god, there's more fish. Let me just... Hang on. Let me kill this fish. Very much dislike deep water. If I can't see the bottom of water, I hate it. I hate it a lot. A maid class specialised in long blade and spear. But yeah, we're not being subtle. My character's name is Lusty. The Lusty Argonian Maid. We are not being subtle with this at all. Okay. You guys ready? I, I've never played Subnautica. And I'm not going to play Subnautica because I absolutely 100% hate deep water that you cannot see the bottom of. Very much dislike this experience right now. Cast... Okay, cool. Water breathing. We're good. We can breathe underwater for two minutes. Wooden chest. Trapped. Ooh, did some damage to me. We're okay. Worn chest. 25 gold. And expensive amulet. Could be useful. We've picked it up. Can't see a thing down here. Okay, there might be other stuff down here. Don't know. Can't see. Don't want to find out. We're going back up. Was that the only thing down here, pretty much? Is there a light spell? There is. I do not know it. I should probably learn that the next time I go to the guild. The Lusty Argonian Maid was indeed Names Lifts Her Tail, but that is a fan fiction name given to her. What you're seeing right now is the original Lusty Argonian Maid, whose name was Lust T. It was just lost in translation over all those years. I have killed these guys, which means I need to go back to the... I want to say... Fighters Guild? You know what that means. I can rest until healed, bring out Recall, 
and cast this to go right back to the temple where I purchased Recall, which is in Balmora. That is a smug little smile right there. Smug little me using the mechanics of the game. So yeah, the mark and recall spell is great. You mark a place on the map and then you recall to it using the recall spell. There are elements of fast travel, but mark and recall to me is just the fastest way to do it. Josh isn't wrong. The guy that writes that book does so in the game and you meet him. Sweet, Josh Smug Hayes. Never underestimate a middle-class Englishman's ability to be slightly smug while holding a cup of tea. I mean, come on, the Spiffing Brit has built an entire ideology, an entire identity on being smug. And you know what? We love him for it. We do. I have to say that every now and again, otherwise he comes and drowns me in tea. Right, let's go and speak to... It was a Fighter's Guild quest, wasn't it, to kill those people? I'm sure it was a Fighter's Guild quest. Do you have more information on the Talvani agents? I need to know. You got all four? Good. That'll make some people at the Caldera Mining Company very happy. And here's 400 septims. The Caldera Mining Company pays well. And when you're ready for more orders, let me know. Oh, order me around, FireEye. I need someone to return a code book that belongs to our client. The code book our client wants is in the hands of Sotild at the South Wall in Balmora. Find the code book. Bring it to me. Sotild. She's Thieves Guild. I take full responsibility. And listen, I'm Guild Steward. When I say jump, you say how high. Keep that in mind and we won't have any problems. Oh, okay, right. I'm seeing that maybe there's a little bit of a little bit of tension going on here. Bells. You've you got involved with the Thieves Guild. Maybe you shouldn't have got involved with the Thieves Guild. They stole a code book from you. We've what all been is there. this about? Right, what was the Mages Guild quest I had to do? I'm pretty sure I've done that quest now as well. Well, I don't currently have any quests from the Mages Guild. Oh, yeah, you had to send me to a different place, didn't you? The Caldera Guild. Should we... Yeah, let's go and get the Thieves Guild book back, and then we'll carry on with the Mages Guild quest. Buy light. Hang on, that's a really good point. We should buy... From where do you hail, We friend? should buy the ability... Don't think you sell light. Enchantment. Okay, so I could put Bound Spear onto an item. You can put Mark and Recall onto an item as well, so it pretty much always happens. Right. Nice. That's a... I could put an enchantment on something. You can put enchantments of spells onto pretty much anything. So, currently I'm wearing a Dark Brotherhood left gauntlet. I could put Mark onto the left gauntlet and it would just always work. That could work. Uh, cast cost 24, charge 0, enchantment 26 out of 10. Right, so that currently only has 10 thing to take enchantment onto. But longbow, enchantment out of 3. Okay, what do I want on that? Mark. And then soul... You use a special thing for it. Then it gives it more stuff. No, I'm not gonna not gonna make that yet. But you can basically put spells onto things. So you don't need to do stuff. Wait, was that quest menu in the journal a mod, or have I never known this? So you press J, then you go to options, and then topics and quests. I think that's in standard. I didn't check, but I think that's in standard. It was added in the DLC. Sweet. Right, let's uh, let's go and buy light first of all. Who sells light? Spells. What's your rank, Lusty? Nope. Later, perhaps when you're higher rank, but not now. Okay, you don't sell yes, any spells. If I buy the spell light, can I then enchant something with light, so I can have like a light glove on me at all times? So I don't need to cast a spell, it's just an item that does that. I should be able to do that. Friend. Spells. Okay, Calm Creature, Spell Absorption, Dispel. That could be useful. I don't need you, just Light. Can I have a constant Light effect? In theory, yes, but you won't want to do that. 
Any time now. Firebite, frostbite, shock, paralysis, poison. Bound help, bound longbow, bound dagger. None of those are light. You can also increase the brightness, but this takes quite a bit of money to create. Okay, so it is possible. Lightning shield. That could be interesting. None of these seem useful to me. Water breathing. I know that I already know water Looking breathing from being an Argonian, but I want the spell separately so I can cast more than just two minutes of it. Summon Bonewalker, Reflect. Nope, Soul Trap, Weak Spell Drinker. I won't use Soul Trap yet, but I will yes, do when I start making my own spells, so I'll need to go and hunt things down. Who the hell sells light? Sugar is yours, friend. I could just wield a torch. That's true. Could someone in the chat let me know where I can buy light from? Just use a torch. I'm using a spear, so I can't. I'm using two hands for my spear already. Might need to go to Old Ruin Mages Guild for these spells. That's absolutely fine, because this person can teleport me to Old Ruin. We have teleported to the Old Ruin Mages Guild. Yo. You sell light? Nope, you sell nothing. Okay, so as far as maps go, we are currently north of where we were. Okay, slightly north of Caldera. This is a much bigger Mages Guild. That door is both locked and trapped. We will find who sells light, and I will cast it when I go into dark caves and stuff. So, it's Eremion in Caldera? Oh, Eremion. Okay, who who sells it in Aldrun? Because we don't seem to have oh, anyone. He's in the room by the entrance. Okay, cool. I'll go and check. Let me... None of these guys seem to sell anything. Good me. You sell nothing. The room by the entrance, you say. Himla, Himla the Argonian. Upstairs the Argonian, thank you. See, this is, I think this is a fair level of using your knowledge. No, it's not you, although you do sell spells. What do you sell? You sell interesting sounding Spell hide invisibility for 30 seconds on self. Now we all know that in all of these Elder Training Scrolls games, invisibility right, right. is very often broken. So let's buy one. Himla. Talk to me, mate. So we have got Night Eye is better because you're still hidden. Okay, let's have a look then. Bound dagger, bound gauntlets, bound boots. Where? Light, there we go. Light, 20 points for 30 seconds in 30 feet on target. So that is target, not self. Spell making. Light. Range. Self. So target, touch, or self. Can I just have rate magnitude? Just ridiculously bright. Duration. Okay, so we want it for like 60 seconds. Like a minute. Okay, so light with intensity of... Okay, you can actually take these down quite a bit. Point cost spell chance. If we take this down from... Okay, so I want it like 20% chance of casting it. That's the best we can do. 19 to 24 magnitude for 60 seconds. That seems fine. But what does the spell I've currently got do? That's just on me. So let's buy that. Name. Flashlight. Me. There we go. Price 91, points cost 13, spell chance 19. Let's purchase it. You don't have enough gold to buy this spell. 
Okay, cool. Let's come Great. back when we are not poor and try again. Training as, for the right price. Seeing as we have now done everything we need to do. Flashlight, not a torch, fake British. They're whistling at me. We're not calling it flashlight. No. I could sell that cool sword. That is true. Hey you, you you want hey kid, you wanna buy a sword? Right, I could recall back to my original place. It worked! Sweet, okay. Oh, I forgot to put my one glove back on. I'm very much doing the kind of Michael Jackson thing right now. There we go, the glove's back on. Let's get out the uh, the old weapon again. I need to change where my mark is, because there's no point in being all the way in this temple all the time. Not every vendor buys everything from you, that is true, but we can go to the dude over here who does buy everything from you. He's pretty cool, we like him. Let's just cast light and see what happens. So there's a 23% chance of this working. And it costs 9 magicka a time. And my chance is currently 0 because I have nothing. I now need to sleep to get my magicka back. I will listen, Outlander. Let's, let's go and have a quick, quick nap somewhere, shall we? Oh, I've got to go to the South Wall Corner Club, and that's fine because the South Wall Corner Club is close to Caius's house, and I can just jump in bed with Caius. Not like that, but I will listen out. You know, maybe Let's like that. Play. Depends what kind of mood he's in. Let's find out. You can sell to the scamp for better prices. Where is the scamp? You're saying all these things, and I should know exactly where they all are, but I just—it's been a while. It's in Caldera. Okay, cool. It's Ben Caldera. Cast light on your spear, turn the, turn the spear into a torch. If I can just have it cast light every time I stab with it, that'd be great. Let's just uh, have a quick nap in Caius's bed. Until healed. Die, Fletcher. What the hell? Dude! Caius! Hell! <laughs> Caius, I'm literally being attacked right next to you, mate. Why are you not helping me? Uh, yes? You are useless. You're meant to be, like, in charge of the blades. Look, you could have just shredded his face on your abs. You could have just stabbed him with your pecs. But instead, you just... Don't look at his body like that and start thinking. It's not like an angry gimp. That was an actual assassin, mate. I could have died. I'm going to loot him, but this is very much for me and not for you. Because, I mean, look, value 500. These things are worth so much money. Okay, you know what? Quick save. Have a nap until healed. I'm glad that you didn't touch him while I was gone, but I'm still not happy with this entire situation. Don't. Don't. I've just fought off an attacker. Don't appreciate that. It's not the attitude I want you to have. Don't whistle at me, mate. Alright, I mean, any other time, yeah, I'd have been well into that, but... <laughs> read, read the room, Caius. Feel the vibe. This ain't the one. All right, South Wall Corner Club. In we pop. I haven't seen that before. You haven't seen uh, what before? Come on, then. Say something or move on. You are angry, Satilde. You are, unfortunately, the person I need to talk to about getting the code book back. What code book? I wouldn't talk to you about that sort of thing. Okay, you just... You're not going to talk to me about this? We're not going to... Not going to have, have a conversation? Sotilled. Right, so, options. Quests. The code book. Right. Get the code book from Sotilde at the South Wall in Balmora. Sotilde will not talk to me about the code book because we are not good enough friends. So, a couple of ways we can do this. I can give her some money and we can become good friends. Or. 
how do you pickpocket somebody in this game? Do you need to be sneaking and then interact with them? I think it murder. Yeah. If we sneak and then interact. Let's... Hey, maybe I could persuade you. Maybe I could admire you a little bit. Are you into being admired? Let's find out. Fine sentiments made, but I doubt their sincerity. How about I just give you some money? Is that all you think I'm worth? Why don't I try and intimidate you then? You're wasting your time. I won't be bullied. You gonna give me the code book? What code book? Right. Everything I just chose was wrong. Everything. Her persuasion is now 26 out of 100. Can I sell you things? You do it. You do sell things. You've got seller gold, 250. What if I were to sell you something worth a lot of gold? What if I were to sell you something worth 350 gold? You would offer me 141. Screw you. No. I will take my business elsewhere. Good day, sir. I will take my business to the shop over there that I know respects me, and then I will go and clean up the dead gimp in Caius's house. Because I am nothing if not a tidy house guest. But this is not over. This is not, I just realised, take it elsewhere would have been a very clever Elder Scrolls pun. And I'm very annoyed at myself that I didn't make that. Good day, madam. That's true. It should have been good day, madam. All right, let me sell you some junk, mate, because I've got so much junk on me right now. There is too much junk in this trunk, and I require you to take some of it off me. Uh, don't... I don't buy that item. What about this sword here? 350? It's a slightly better price for it. It's fine. I tend to not use too many potions, so... Okay, you don't want that either. How about all of the arrows? You can have all those. What weighs a lot? Because I've got... need to get rid of the heavy stuff that's on me currently. Expensive amulet. That's... Is that a quest item? I don't buy that item. Fine. You know, I'll sell you that. How about 185? Beautiful stuff. Let's go to the pawnbroker. Is it the bone mold armor that's really heavy? Yeah, that's heavy. 24, 13, 8. Stuff's heavy. There is way too much junk in my trunk. Those hammers weigh a fair bit. Feel free to use them. The pawnbroker. See? Look. That's the name of the shop. P A W N. My goodness, you're more mature than this. Let me barter. Seller gold, 700. Right. Let me just get rid of all of this junk. I don't need the spoon. Let's be real. All these things. Restore fatigue. Not important. Fortify speed might be quite useful, actually. Thankfully, gold does not have a weight. If it did, that would be bad. Are there talent points if you level? If so, where would you put them so far? I haven't leveled up yet, but yes, there are. Yeah, the level up system in Morrowind is complicated. Let's just sell all these things. And then we sell the restore fatigue. Okay, sell a gold is 700. I want to get 700 stuff out of you. Okay, so the weight of a hammer is 4, and I've got 9 of them. So I'm carrying like 40 of that. So that's quite a lot of stuff. Health. Fortify luck. No one cares about luck. Restore magicka. Let's sell, like, three of them. And I probably don't need nine restore health potions. Alright, cool. Let's just... Give me 600. Sweet. That's done. Yeah, leveling up in Morrowind is... Ve okay, so let me explain how it works. Every single time you level up any individual skill, you'll see that each skill is governed by a greater attribute. For example, Athletics is governed by Speed. Longblade is governed by Strength. Spear is governed by endurance. 
uh, speechcraft is governed by personality. So, in order to level up, you must level up a total of 10 of either your major skills or minor skills. So, gain 10 levels in athletics by doing athletic things. Gain 10 levels in armor by you know, training your armor skill. Or, gain 5 in one, 5 in another. A total of 10 across these. However, when you level up, you'll then be able to spend, I believe, 3 points. The points will go into either speed, endurance, or strength. But if you've leveled at least five skills that have the greater attribute of speed, you will be able to put five... You'll be able to put one point into speed, but it counts as five points. What that means is, because you only level up when you level ten of either your major or minor skills, you actually don't want to level your major or minor skills first. You want to level your miscellaneous skills first, making sure you're leveling skills with the governing attribute of the skill that you want to level the most when you finally level up. It's dumb. It really is dumb. It, it's stu yeah, Sorry, you need ten levels to gain the plus five. If you want to min-max in Morrowind, good luck. Best way to play it, just don't worry about it. Play the way you want. If you start losing, uh, just, I don't know, write in some stuff using the game client and game code. Argonians do look cool. Look at her. She is great. We love her. That is Lust Tea, the Argonian maid. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to... I was going to say I was going to go and murder that person to get the code book back, but... Do we? Is that what we need to do? Is that who we are? Is that who we've become? We just murder people now for code books? I'm not against it. Right, the beauty and the bandit. Maybe I should try and find this bandit that we bumped into earlier. Nelos Onmar. She believes he is in Pelagade. Nelos Onmar. Let's... So earlier we bumped into a woman on the road who'd been attacked by a bandit, but he was a very handsome bandit, and she gave us one of her gloves, and she would like us to hunt the bandit down, not because she wants her stuff back, but because she wants to go on a date with him. So, let's use why the Silt Strider. Why walk when you can ride? Because why walk when we can ride? And let's travel to Pelagade. Pelagade is not there, that's very annoying. Let's cancel that, and instead walk to Pelagade. Let's go this way. I want to yes. say Pelagades this way. Double check that. Hang on. Balmora, Caldera. Yeah, it's south. It's quite far south, but we'll get there. Say Dunedin is the closest silt strider. We'll just walk. Yeah. So, I am playing vanilla Morrowind, but I've got a graphical enhancement mod. Your pronunciation of Pelagade. Pelagiad? How else would you say it? So a game that stops you from considering min-maxing and tells you, just play the game. Why is that dumb? It's dumb because the game doesn't level with you. There is no level scaling, which means by the time you get to really high levels, there is a chance that you could have 60, 70, or even 80 points less in a skill that you could have had had you have leveled differently. Pelagiad. It's a G, not an... It is I-A, not A-I. Pelagiad? No. I refuse to believe that. I can see how you would think it's Pelagiad, but the next time I bump into Todd Howard, I will ask him how you pronounce Pelagide. Until then, we'll just... We'll say I'm right. I understand that all of you disagree, but how about we just agree that I'm right with this? There you go. Easy. Easy stuff. Easy fix. Right there for all of you. Who cares, to be honest? You say who cares, Erica? Several thousand people. I guarantee. That's sometimes I get things wrong on purpose, just to farm engagement. And sometimes I get things wrong because I'm an idiot. And then I play it off as if it was on purpose, which actually farms even more engagement. It's like Schrodinger's mistake. I both did and did not mean to make it at the same time. That is still dead. Fantastic. Just hangs out there being dead. Uh, Vivek and Pelagayad is this way. 
Can we appreciate how this game looks better than Starfield? I mean, it plays better. Feels better. This game is 22 years old. It is very much proof that if you make a good game, it will just stand up to the test of time. Right, let's... Right, where is Pelagadio? This way. I have a potion of fortify speed. Let's drink it. Oh my goodness, look at how much faster I'm going. Where can I see? Okay, fortify attributes. Speed, 10 points. Moon calf, agility, 25 points. I am just so much faster. Speedy boy. Uh, the I is silent, which means it's pronounced Pegasus. Also, first time catching a stream. Thank you. The f you pop in here, first thing you do is correct everyone. Come in, drop some knowledge bombs, leave. Refuse to elaborate further. Right, we're going to Pegasus. This isn't speed, this is drunken waddling. You, you wait till we get to the actual drunken waddling. Then you'll be in for a good time. Let's just double check we are going the right way. Probably should have taken the Silt Strider to say to Neen. That would have been way quicker. Somebody should have told me that. But none of you did. I believe it's because you're all quite selfish. What is... Is it the toilet dash? No, look, let me to explain. This is how you walk when you, sh when you shit yourself. This is how you walk when you've not yet finished. Then it goes to that. But... Animating Argonians was obviously difficult back in the day. I assume what they decided to do was watch someone on roller skates and then just go for it. They were like, yeah, that's that's what I want. They watched someone put ice skates on for the first time and just do their absolute best while holding onto the edge of the rink. And they went, yeah, that's it. Absolutely nailed it. That's what we want. I went rollerblading once. I am very good at taking lots of very short, shallow steps forward and then not falling over. Very good. Can confirm, I was ice skating only once. Yes. You're using a beast race, you have crippled yourself. Can't use the boots of blinding speed. Oh yeah, if you've not played Morrowind before, there is a bit of a joke. There is an item that you can get called the boots of blinding speed. So those boots fortify speed onto you by an insane degree, but they also completely blind you. Like, remove all your vision. You put them on and you run super fast, but you can't see anything, which I think is great. Now, I could have taken the the back road to Palagade, but I'm going to take the front road because we will take the back roads later. Breton has 50% magic resist, so you can sonic zoom through the world half blind. Oh, sweet. I did not realize this. Okay, so we are here looking for a bandit. A bandit named Nelos Onmar. Are you what Nelos you Onmar? Want? Do you know of him? I see by your outfit, Lust T, that your affairs have prospered. That's also what I quite like, is if you talk to someone when you are wearing better armor, they think that you're doing well for yourself because you've you kind of succeeded. Which is very cool. Right. Hey, so I'm looking for Nelos Onmar. I've seen him around here. Quiet man, keeps to himself. Not too sure what he does, actually. Other folks might know more than I do, though. I check in the tavern. They got all sorts of folks there. Let's hear it. Alright, so uh, Nelos Onmar in the local tavern. Can we... Do we know where that is yet? This looks like a tavern. That is... I mean, that looks like an armorer's shop. You're an armorer. That's a tavern, is it? Uh, that's supplies. Oh! We have leveled up! You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. This is the Halfway Tavern. Pop into the Halfway Tavern. Shall we get a room, sleep, 
and level up and you can see how the level up system works yo you guys uh, sell me a rim beds we have one available it's 10 gold want it yes great the bed is yours at the end of the hall upstairs you'll find it unlocked end of the hall upstairs so upstairs and the hall that would be this one and we pop let's close you and let's have a quick lie down and a nap until healed you have ascended to level two you realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream suddenly facing the trials of the last few days you have come alive right i have three points to spend i can put them into strength intelligence willpower agility speed endurance personality or luck but during the leveling of my 10 minor or major skills i have leveled at least two skills which are governed by strength so if i do put a point into strength i will actually get two points in strength instead of one i have three in speed three in endurance and two in agility now you can get up to times five if you level up 10 skills but i think what i need to do is really use the skills that i've got the most so speed to 43 endurance to 43 can you put two points in you cannot so speed endurance either strength or intelligence possibly agility i think agility would be good because of fatigue endurance for the spear without a doubt there's no point leveling personality luck or willpower because i would get fewer points for them but i'm thinking pot you know what strength maximum fatigue and how much damage and you how much you can carry so strength without a doubt right it's taken us four hours to get to level two we're doing good we're doing very good four hours to level two let's find this bandit shall we let's just uh pop down see if we can uh is it you you're, you're very Speak you're very traveler. attractive my goodness you absolutely are look at him piercing red eyes i date him without a doubt welcome outlander what brings you to pegasus can i help you find a specific place uh mate check out this glove you have what how odd she was a lovely young woman but what would she want with a rogue like me she is beautiful though seems sweet for the first time in my life i actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone i should see her again here take this tell her you have a note from nelos i must see her again i won't forget this friend yes just tell her you have a note from nelos I think she'll be happy with it. Right, we uh, we might be about to spark, spark a little romance here. But can I, can I just say that I kind of want to read the note? Maury, truly, I was enchanted with you from the moment I saw you. I beg your forgiveness for my past transgressions. While I cannot imagine what a woman of your beauty and breeding would see in a rogue such as me, I thank the gods that you have sent for me. I will come to you as soon as I can. Until then, yours, Nelos. All right. Girl, if you don't date him, I will, okay? Just let's go give this away. Hi, Josh. Long time lurker. Welcome to the stream. Ever since your Swords of Legend video nearly two years ago, love your stuff. Thank you very much. You're awesome. That, up for debate but i'll take the compliment want to let you know that the trolls and the hobbit okay here we go we're about to get serious the trolls and the hobbit were a specific breed that were bred by sauron along with the urukai called the ologhai so they could survive that, sunlight it so it wasn't a continuity error right somebody call up peter jackson get him on the phone we have stuff to discuss i appreciate the fact that's the first thing you've ever said in the chat you've like you've come and you've gone like you know what josh is wrong about the hobbit i must correct him i appreciate that right this has also led me to remember a different thing about the game and that is that you can add your own labels to the map and we might need to do that because I cannot remember where this woman is. But there is a notes thing. I'm sure you can leave your own notes somewhere. Is there a notes feature on the map? It's gotta be. 
What happened to lazy man mode? That will happen again. That will carry on. That will absolutely, without a doubt, carry on. But, edit note. Yeah, I'll see if I can find this woman first. This is why in Morrowind, it's very much a bad idea to jump from quest to quest, because you just don't remember where the hell anyone or anything is. But I'm pretty sure she's just on the road somewhere. Like, she can't be too far gone, can she? She's between Palagade and Lake Amaya. Okay, so Lake Amaya is there. So she's probably around here somewhere. We'll just... We'll just run around till we spot her. She can't be that far, can she? Like, I've got... I've got NPC visualization turned on for quite a long range. We should be able to find her. And then we should get stuck on a rock. Because the detection in the game is terrible. Pelagiad. You say Pelagiad, I say Pelagade. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Same word. Same. We all know what we're trying to say. So let's not police the language. Potato. P -p Potato. However you want to say it. There she is! Hey, I passed the note on to your... Your loving rogue. And now I'm going to need some Tidings stuff and good wishes to you, friend. I must find that bandit. I believe he's in Palagardiogasus. Here you go, note from Nalos. He gave you a letter to give to me. Wonderful. Thank you so. I knew that he cared. You know, he didn't have to do all this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend, Barnard Irelli, in Tel Baron. Baronora, tell Baronora, that's the one. He's a wonderful person. And I think the two of you would get along famously. Tell Baronora. Okay. Maybe we should. Does that count as a quest? It does. Cool, I've brought the note. Overwhelmed by its contents. I would do well to meet him, her friend Barnard Erelai, in Tell Baronora. All right, cool. Where's Tel Baronora? That can't be far. That can't be far away at all. If I was... If I was Tel Baronora, where would I be? Probably really far away. But, uh... Oh, good. My acrobatics increased to nine. I am much better at acrobatting. Tel Baronora. He's doing it again. Look, that's exactly how it was spelled. Hang on. Tell. Let me have a look. Options. In. Okay, so it's Branora. But all the letters were there. Just not necessarily in the correct order. You're adding an A. It's my stream. If I want to add random letters into words, how do you think Todd wrote all these names and places? for Morrowind. Do you think he didn't add the random letter A every now and again? I'm just channeling the spirit of Todd. Okay, we've done that. We now need to go to... Actually, what else do we need to do? I think we need to go to Caldera? Options. Quests. Okay, so we need to kill someone for a code book. Possibly return to... Let's use Recall. Return to the temple. Sleep until I can return to the temple. There we go. Then I will redo the mark spell so it's actually in the Mages Guild, which is going to be the easiest place to be able to teleport to and from ever. And then I can just teleport around the place. It's Kaldora. I love the old school RPG of actually having to find stuff. Yeah, it is... It's challenging. I think one of the reasons that it worked was because back then, back in my day, back in our day, guys, there weren't that many big adventure games out. So when a big adventure game came out and said, hey, this takes 100 hours, we were all amazed and excited, and that was fantastic, and that was really good all because right, it was going to take all of our time. But now, you're getting a big game 
every week, every two weeks, every month at most. So when a game comes out and says, yeah, this is going to take you 100 hours to play, we just don't have that amount of free time anymore. A 100-hour RPG used to be great because you would have 100 hours to play it. Now, when a 100-hour RPG comes out, indeed. another one's going to come out next week, and the week after, and the week after, and the week after, and... How many people actually finish games? And when I say back in my day, Morrowind is 22 years old. This is over two decades old. I'm going to mark just here, by the way. This is my mark point now. Cool. I didn't fail at marking this point. Yo, travel to Caldera Guild of Mages. And I want to see if you guys have any quests for me. Just double check in the Jira duties. You should speak with the... Oh, Aldrune. Right, Aldrune Guild of Mages. All right, travel to Aldrune. Guild of Mages, let's do it. So Morrowind is as old as I am. If, if you're 22 years old, then... Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Right, we're in the Aldrune Guild of Mages, which, if I remember correctly, isn't Aldrune just a giant shell? I'm sure it's a giant shell. Let me double check. You head outside. You look at it. It's is it is this the mushroom one? This might be the mushroom city. Old rune. Can you ask your question quickly? Right. Okay, so old rune is that one just there. There's an ash storm going on. There's a very alien kind of nature to this whole thing, overflowing everywhere. Let's see if these mages guilds have anything that we can... Uh, yeah, the Quasson City. You guys got any duties for me? Speak with Edwina. She's the guild steward here. In that case, I will Training speak with Edwina. Right Edwina, where are you, babe? Show yourself. You must have challenges for me. Edwina! Do you have any duties for me? Yes, apprentice. There is something you could do for me. I am looking for a copy of a rare dwarven book, the Chronicles of Shule of Shuleft. That's how that's pronounced. The Chronicles of Shuleft. It is a rare dwarven tome. None of the Mages Guild branches have a copy, and it is simply essential to my research. Would you be willing to find me a copy? Yes, I will. Excellent. Here's 250 septims to cover your expense. Time is of the essence. Okay, are you going to give me any hint as to where on earth it could be? No. Good luck. That's it. That's Morrowind's yeah, quests. Go and find a book. Where is it? Dunno. Explore the whole game and find out. Okay, so did Google exist back then? In, like, a really rudimentary way. Alright, so where's where's the big library in the game? Rare bookstore in Vivek. Vivek is the main city. It would make sense that it has a rare bookstore. Can I take the Silt Strider to Vivek? Are we about to get lost in the cantons of Vivek? Because let's be real, these cantons are huge. Like, it is... There's a lot of stuff in this game. Like, a lot of stuff. It is... Can I cast light? Where's my light spell? Light. 27% chance of casting. Did that fail? Light 20 points for 30 seconds, 30 foot on target. That... There's no way that that was the light spell. No, no. It's a target spell. It is a target spell. We throw the light out at something. I think light needs... Right, light needs a target to stick to. I need to create a light spell that targets me. How much gold do I have right now, currently? I have over a thousand. Right, new plan. I need to... Because in Morrowind, one cool thing is you can actually make spells. I need a spell cast on self that lights somewhere up. Who makes spells? Training... Night Eye still right, exists. Right. Spells. Night Eye. Night Eye, 20 points for 30 seconds on self. What does that do? 
What does Night Eye do? I mean, I'll buy it. And I, I want to see what it does. I don't think I can cast it, though, right now, because I need I to be restore going, so if you could make my Magicka. Do I have any restore Magicka? Cheap restore Magicka. Let's pick you up and drink one. Is that is that it? Okay, cool. Now we've restored. Night Eye. You failed. Much? Oh, that's way better. Okay, cool. So casting Night Eye actually allows me to see in the dark. This is way better. So light would just be like localized night, but I want to cast Night Eye so I can actually get like night vision going on. That's a utility spell that really does help. Yo, can you... I like the touch that he's shielding his eyes from the storm. Can you take me to Vivek? Travel to... No. Balmora, Kul, Margan, or Nisus. We could go to Nisus and join the Imperial Legion. That was one of the spells. Let's go to Nisus. Join the Imperial Legion. We'll come back to Vivek, don't worry. Where would you like to go? We will come back. But, if I remember, go to Journal, go to Options, go to Topics, go to L... For, no, it wasn't, it was I, wasn't it, for Imperial Legion. Right, Fort Buckmouth and Aldrin and Fort Darius. Join the Imperial Legion. The Death's Head Legion at Fort Darius in the West Gash, near the village of Nisus. So General Darius at Fort Darius. Let's see if we can ask any of these guys where Fort Darius is. Yo, I need help. Imperial Legion? Nope, none of you are there. Someone in particular. Fort Darius. The Empire built a fort near Nisus village with the help of House Redoran. They named the fort after the garrison's commander, General Darius. Darius is the commander of the Legion. Where is it? Like, where is the thing? You know what, I'm probably just going to look for what looks like roughly human architecture. That looks human over there. Yeah, I'm going to spot human-looking architecture and then head toward that and assume it's that. Josh, you've been playing Morrowind for five hours. It's becoming unhealthy. We're just warming up. We are just warming up, all right? It just works. Todd Howard said that, and it was correct. It, he, he was correct. Let's just quick save, because you look suspicious as all hell. Hey, uh, Dol Grodosh. Welcome, Lusty. I'm Dol Grodosh. You're in the village of Nisus. If you're a pilgrim, you're probably looking for the Mask of Vivek at Nisus Temple. Otherwise, I can help you find what you're looking for. I'm actually looking for joining the Imperial Legion. We could use a few recruits here in the Death's Head Legion garrison. Go see General Darius. You'll find him downstairs at the Madak Trade House. Interesting. Downstairs at the Madak Trade House. Let's go and try and find that. I like that every single NPC has something to add about what you're trying to, to find and where you're trying to go. Oh, so this is Fort Darius kind of thing. Downstairs at the Madak Trade House. One thing I hated, I read a book telling you how to use a heart at the end and spent ages looking for a way to do it, but it isn't in the game. That is a shame. What a grand and intoxicating innocence you must have. Where's the trade house? That's the barracks. Oh, so this entire place is the fort, pretty much. If I were a trade house, where would I be? The trade house is to the left with the spikes. That thing just there. Spikes up on top. Doesn't look very trade housey to me, and yet it is. There we go. Downstairs. Any time now. General Darius. Oh look, it's the Skyrim logo, because this is the same Imperial Legion from Skyrim. You General Darius? Nope. You nope, you are some bags. Are you General Darius? No. Say your needs. Maybe the door here. Are you, General? 
No. Say your name. Goodness me. There you are. Dar you are a handsome looking man. Yes. Are you here to join the Imperial Legion? Young lady, you've got what we need here at the Imperial Legion. Do you want to join? Or do you want to hear what we're all about? I feel like he's bringing very Zap Brannigan energy. And you know what? I do have what you guys need. This is a very kind of like Marilyn Monroe situation going on here. Sign me up, sir. You are now a recruit of the... I feel like we should bring Zap Brannigan energy to this kind of thing. That's what we should do. You are now a recruit of the Imperial Legion. Welcome, Lusty. You have to stay in uniform, so take this chain cuirass. You better be wearing a Legion cuirass of some kind in the presence of a high-ranking member. Take your orders from me and other knights, and your advancement through the ranks will be swift if you meet the requirements. Good thing you do actually need to be wearing your Legion armor when you talk to the Legion to get Legion quests. Otherwise, they don't like this. He is very into dress-up, and he is going to stick to that. Imperial Chain Cuirass has been added to your inventory. The problem is, it's not as good as what else we've got. So currently, my Bowmore Cuirass, armor rating 21. Legion Cuirass, armor rating 16. Not as good. I also don't think it... Re it actually, it does show off my chest a little bit better. So I'm, I can go with this. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but whips and chain cuirasses oh, do excite me. That? Darius, give me some, uh, give me some orders, mate. Okay, give me some stuff. Tell me what I'm doing. Order me. Yes, let's see if you truly are loyal to our cause here in Morrowind. I have no idea what your cause even is, mate. There's a little issue of a land deed here in Nisus I need you to take care of. Okay, Mansilamat Vabdas. Todd did just mash the keyboard with his face to make this game. Died recently in the egg mine. He is survived by his wife, who now owns a parcel of land we could use for another dock. Talk to the widow Vabdas and get the deed to her land. Don't take no for an answer. Get me that land deed. Having some moral quandaries about this. <laughs> like, you want me to go and speak to a dead man's wife and tell her that her inherited land, the land that he very clearly owns and worked, would be much better used as a home for boats. Is that what you need me to do? I'm not really... Josh, what do you think an organization called the Empire does? Okay, look, I don't... I'm not really into the whole fascism when I'm the one doing the bad things. Like, I very much want to benefit from it, but I don't want to do it, if that makes sense. The benefits, without a doubt. Yeah, I love, I love the idea of living in an empire. I don't like the process of going to get the empire. That's the problem. Do we just need to... Hang on, then rise up in the ranks. General Darius asked me to get the deed to Widow Vabdas's land. Where is she, though? So, Widow Vabdas. Options, topics, W, Widow Vabdas. I even know where she is. Where does she live? Maybe I should have asked these questions. Okay. I mean, it's probably going to be on the coast somewhere because, you know, it, like boats and stuff. But I should probably ask where Widow Vabdas lives. Just popping down. Hey, yeah, me again. Where? Why are you away from your post? Report on the land deed. Don't yet have it. He is survived by his wife, Widow Vabdas. Her land is prime for expansions. Yeah, cool. Got that. Egg mine. It's up on the hill. Careful, the Kwama Queen has been blighted. Right. I kind of need to know where she is. Okay, so he died in the egg mine. Maybe I was going to check the egg mine. The egg mine is up on the hill on the east side of town. It's the only real sort of thing we have here. Should we go and try and find out? Let's find out. <laughs> 
One of you guys might need to tell me where she is, because this game is big. It's on the east side of town on... Oh, there we go. It's probably up there somewhere. I can also ask the miners where their dead friend's wife is. That could work. Let's go and ask Widow Vabdas. Yo. Uh, Widow Vabdas? Any idea where she is? Her land is prime for our expansion plans. Yeah, getting that. Very, very much getting that. Kind of need to know where she is. We'll search for her. Where is she? Where is she? That's a good question. She'll be around here somewhere. Okay, so that is a cave dwelling, but it's locked. That, I think, is the cave that they're only miners into. I think she's on a hill next to the next road down the north of town. We'll have to go and find out. It is a good point for a dock, so she's probably near the water. But some of you say that we are near the north side of time. Dollop, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely time. Let's go see if we can find Widow Vabdas. Whatever the heck she might be. Am I interested in playing Skywind? Absolutely. As soon as it happens, it's just going to be a long way away. Maybe the, the Vabdas home is a hut somewhere. Because, I mean, if I was... If I was a widow, I would... I don't know where the hell her land is going to be, because even though the land is going to be by the dock, she might not be. Just outside the town, you just pass to the left. Okay, brilliant, because she's not going to live by the water. She'll live somewhere else, but then have the deed to the water. On the other side from the fort. So the fort's over there, we are over here. Guys, this feels wrong. I don't think that... I don't think Lusty Argonian Maid would do this. I don't think she's going to take land from a grieving widow. We very much need to roleplay this here, and I will let you guys vote on this. At some point. I will let you vote, but this doesn't feel like something Lusty would do. I feel that she would have a lot more... Yeah, there we go, the Vabdas hut. I mean, she might be willing to give it up. She might be like, hey, take it away from me. I hate this. Hey. You're in the village of Nisus, Lusty. I'm Widow Vabdas. Can I help you? If you're looking for services in Nisus, we're pretty limited. Just a mining village, a temple, and a small legion garrison. Right. I... How's your land deed going? My husband was murdered by a legionnaire. And now you come asking for his land. You will never get his land. I will fight you, and all of Nisus will fight you until all you foreigners leave us in peace. Now get out of my house. Husband was murdered, you say? My husband went to the egg mine and never came home. He knew the mine was closed by you foreigners and guarded by the legions. But we had no fresh guama eggs. If you want to help me, go to the mines and find out the truth. Okay. My time is precious, so make it So... Quick. You don't like me. Got it. Fully there. Totally get it. <laughs> Did you really just say reunite her with him? Let's not go to murder as the first choice for every single quest. You know, the plot does thicken slightly said the gardener as he put another shovel of dirt on the ground. It's been at least five hours since I've made a pun, so I'm sorry, but I need to make one every now and again. Let's go and investigate this mine, because if her husband was murdered by a legionnaire, I very much don't necessarily feel comfortable being in the legion. So let's go have a quick look what's going on, you know? Let's just Pop up here. See what's happening. Have a look around. Oh, look, oh, looky Lou. Oh, Mosey. Uh, that's a cave dwelling. Where is the mine? They're only letting people 
it is that the mine cave dwelling cave dwelling cave dwelling There's another quest that will get you into the mine, but you need to ditch the Legion gear. Oh no, don't worry, we'll, we'll sort this out. I'm going to steal their, their gear for a bit. Can we get in here? Maybe we can just walk inside, see what's going on. Uh, this is just... Hey! Yo, how do I get to the egg mine? It's up on the hill on the east side of town. Well, I guess we're going to the east side. Ah, it might be over here. Oh, I, th I think I see where we're going. I think I see where we're going. Stan, hello to you. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. How's your day going? We are playing Morrowind. Classic Bethesda RPG. We are role... For anyone new, by the way, we are role-playing as the Lusty Argonian Maid because my character is called Lusty. She's an Argonian and the class is Maid. Now, some of you will say that the Argonian maid in the books is called Lifts Her Tail, but that's just fan fiction. This is the actual historical document you are watching right now. This is real. So, hey, I need to go in there. So, I'm just going to... Can I go in? Can I go in the egg mine? Since you're in the Legion, here's the key. Be careful. Ah, right, thanks. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing can go wrong at all. Let's first of all get Bound Spear on my spells. Let's quick save and let's get ourselves a Daedric Spear. Boom, son. Lasts for a minute. Let's do this. Right. We're playing detective. What is going on here? You're in an egg mine, Outlander, so be careful. Hey, so what happened with the... The widow. She lives in her hut just outside the west. Her husband died in the egg mine recently. Yeah, I know that, but like, egg mine, that's where you are. What about the Imperial Liege? Any rumors? Heard some rumors? Uh, there was some trouble up at Fort Frostmoth. Yeah, that's uh, an expansion pack. This is clearly. You clearly Say know what nothing about what's going on there. So let's just go deeper into the mine, find out the issue. Do not like. Danger. Totally 100% agree. What's going on over here? Hey. What about the Kwama Queen? There are two large, all their needs are attended by the workers. I'm not seeing any evidence of illegal legion activity so far. What was the dude's name? The one that actually got murdered. What was his name? So Someone in something. particular, I suppose, is who I want to talk about. General Darius, he leads the Legion. Now we don't know much about him. So I can't get past you while you're on the steps, so you you need to not be there. You need to move. Militama something. Okay, I'll have a look in a second. Hey, maybe there's like a wooden chest at the bottom. Maybe there is, but we'll never know. Yeah, get out of the way. Oh, good, my spears ran out. I ran out of stab. If there is anything dodgy going on in this mine, I will find it. But right now, I will kill these scribs. Because otherwise, they will paralyze me like that. And I do not like being paralyzed by scribs. There we go. Is there something dodgy happening in this mine? Would the le Surely the Legion wouldn't. Surely the Legion wouldn't do something illegal. They're the paragons of virtue and justice. Yes, I know that I'm obviously right now trying to take over a huge amount of land from a widow, but I just, I can't bring myself to think that the Legion, who have never done anything illegal ever, would do something wrong. I need to, apparently need to go up and out there. Anything secret that way? Not that I can see. This way seems like a dead end. There is nothing down here. 
because they make the law. Just ask the guy's ghost. That's true. We could be asking the guy's ghost. If this were Baldur's Gate 3, that's what we would be doing. But instead, we go deeper into the mine. I'm wondering if we should be diving down. Hey, you! You're... You're not supposed to be here. I'm going to count to ten, and if you're still here when I'm done, you're going to be in big trouble. All right, cool. So, um, totally ah. ready for that? Oh. oh. Oh, hang on. There's a mage. Let's not go that way. Please say they can't use doors. I don't think they can. I don't think they added the ability to use doors for the enemies. Uh, bargain restore health. Let's drink two of them straight away. That does not do anywhere near as much as I wanted it to do, but we can rest until healed. And then we can cast this spell again. And then we can go back in there. And then we can fight again, but... I can't believe the Legion attacked me. Come on, I'm just imagining a spear. Imagine harder. Get back up. You did. So you're dead, but there's a mage somewhere. <clears throat> what the hell? Why are you attacking me? And I'm dead already. That's insane. Was it the Kwama Queen that attacked me? Okay, so that may have been the... And the game crashed. So I tried to load it and the game immediately crashed. Ladies and gents, I have been streaming for five and a half hours right now. I feel that I should probably take a break. We will continue to play Morrowind every Sunday for the foreseeable future until we complete Morrowind. I have a streaming schedule. It is Saturday at 7. It will normally be a book. And then we will do Sunday starting at 4 o'clock, just going into the evening. If you can't remember those times, Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 4, just remember this handy poem that I wrote for you. Saturday at 7, Sunday at 4. If you can remember that, you can remember the times. Ladies and gents, go and have a great night's sleep, because unfortunately, it's Monday tomorrow. Take care, good night, and God bless.